Hey there everyone, how's it going gamers? Welcome to Save vs. Reality, the inclusive and interactive Twitch campaign. My name is Dead Rabbit Girl, and I'll be your DM and your host. Uh, every Sunday we bring you another episode of our ongoing adventure. You'll find what we're, that we're a little bit different than other campaigns out there, however. First of all, we bring you first edition AD&D in all of its nostalgic, frustrating, and sometimes truly deadly glory. Uh, what also sets us apart from other D&D games on Twitch is that you, the viewers, get to shape the future of the world we're creating together. Um, and every Tuesday we hold a character creation session where you can roll up your own character to play here with us. Everyone who is interested in playing the campaign signs up by 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday nights, and I make a roster of the players and reserves who will be adventuring with us on Sunday. Together with your group and player community, you will discuss what you discover in the world, you'll uncover the map, unravel the mysteries I've set for you, and ultimately enjoy a grand adventure together in a way that I think would make Gary Gygax proud. Finally, as part of what we call the Divine Chorus, uh, you viewers who would rather not play can still affect the gameplay just by watching us live here on Twitch. Uh, by tipping, subscribing, hosting, and rating, you can issue uh, commands to influence gameplay. So you can force a reroll, you can nullify a death blow, you can call for a miracle even. So all of these abilities and more will be available to you soon. Uh, we have our loyalty system already set up um, and it's recording all of your earned favor just by watching, but the commands used for that favor will start next Sunday. So it's just gonna be our second event. So start watching, lurking, interacting now to save up for them. And you should be able to do it just by typing exclamation mark favor and that's Canadian favor. So F-A-V-O-U-R. Okay. Um, if any of this sounds interesting to you, I invite you to go ahead and sign up on our Discord. You'll see all of the information below in our panels, um, which is listed there. And um, follow us on Twitter on SVRDND and using the hashtag SVR hashtag uh, to stay connected. So today is our very first campaign day. Um, and we won't have them starting in a tavern and talking to a cloaked figure, sadly. Um, instead, our adventurers not only don't know each other, but I'm about to throw them into a strangely abandoned city in a strange and unknown location, and we'll see what they do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch the scene over so you can meet them. So we'll do that. Uh, here we go. Oh, look at that. It did already update. So good. So give a little wave, everyone. We're going to uh, go ahead. I'm going to unmute this so they can hear me. No. All right. Can you guys all hear me all right? Yeah. Yep. Can you hear you in both places? Both places? Okay. I will mute that place. Hold on. Oh, uh, Turn off the Twitch sound. That'll be easier for you, I think. Yeah. So just watch the Twitch. So if you're playing, um, if you come and play with us here on SVR, um, you're going to be watching the Twitch so you can see what's happening with the action. But also you'll be listening to me. We connect up on Discord. So they're all listening to me on Discord right now. And they're going to interact back with me uh, on Discord. But they're going to watch on Twitch just like everyone at that's sitting at home on your couch or by your computer or whatever you're doing. So um, I'm going to give a little intro to each of the characters here and then we're going to get started with the game, okay? So here we go. First of all, I uh, just give a little wave when I introduce you. Um, we have Raven playing a human fighter named Hildegard. Uh, Gallows is playing a human cleric named Wally. Uh, Soul Empress is not on cam with us, which is perfectly fine. So if you're feeling a little camera shy, you can still play with us here on SVR. Um, she's playing a half-elf fighter thief named Fury. Do you want to say a little hello? Oh, so delayed. Well, hello. <laughs> the stream froze. Oh, crap. It did, too. That's the power I have. Well, it looks good on my screen. 
Is it still going? Yeah. It says yeah, dropped. Oh, okay. Someone well, said that. Again, it's it's delayed. So. Oh, delayed. I see. Delayed's fine. We can work with delay as long as you guys can hear me at the same time as I'm talking. We fix that bit. So, yep. that's the important thing, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. It's like, yeah, five or ten seconds or something. Wow, that much, eh? Okay. Yeah. Well, I can just mute, mute, mute the, the TV. Yeah, mute the TV. Okay. I don't want to hear myself all doubled up anyway. <laughs> well, I, I have a headset on. It okay. Be. Hello. <laughs> all right. Um. Ch -ch -ch -ch. So where was I? I was introducing. So we've got Soul Empress playing the half-elf fighter thief named Fury, and we've got Gunnymo playing a dwarven thief named Archibald. Good old Archie. So, good old Archie. So thanks all of you for coming out. We're going to go just jump right in here, unless you guys want to say anything about yourselves. I'm going to guess no. Nope. I'll, I'll let my failure speak for itself. Sounds good. All right. Did it uh, free up for you there, Wally? Yeah, you're good to go. All right. All right. So here we go. Um, so you are all, all four of you from different locations in Faerun, which is located in the Forgotten Realms, if you're not familiar. It's ultimately up to each of you where you're from and to develop your own backstories, which I totally encourage you to do, okay? Um, so if you would like to pick a large town and say that's where you're from, I would suggest names like Waterdeep or Om, that's A-M-N, uh, which are some of the largest. So feel free to look up any smaller one you choose if you want to be from there, okay? All of you find yourselves in a murky fog. You don't really remember this fog being here, and you don't remember sitting down either, yet you are. I'll give each of you in turn now a short primer, just kind of leading you up to the events of when you were here. Sound good? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to start with Hildegard. Hildegard, you were in the King's Woods near your town. It was early morning and a great day. And you had some truly disturbing news given to you uh, the day before, and you couldn't sleep for most of last night. You had pulled a sled into the woods and were felling trees, as your father had once taught you before he died. It comforts you, being in the forest. It reminds you of him and the time you spent together with him. You were there trying to get your mind off of things, and were almost ready to drag your full sled back home, and the next thing you realize, you're on this boat. And soon, when the fog clears, you're also going to realize that you're wearing your grandmother's armor. She was a famous knight once. Her armor was on display in the castle, as far as you know, and had never moved. And since you've ever never actually seen it in person, only seen drawings of it, or even allowed near it, yet here it is. It's on you. You're wearing it her famous armor, and her halberd, and you're sitting on a boat. So this is how it's starting for you. Uh, I'm just going to change the music here. Here we go. Okay. Wally, uh, before you found yourself in the fog, you had barely escaped with your life from a deadly island filled with undead orcs and goblins. The last thing you remember was being caught in a terrible storm with several of your comrades around you in a sailboat poorly equipped for ocean travel, yet you had found yourself in a storm. You remember riding up a titanic wave. It felt like hundreds of feet high. The wave crested. The boat started to turn, then roll. You remember holding on to the rail as best you could as the freezing cold water took you. You remember letting go, covering your head, trying not to let the boat strike you as it was dashed to pieces. Something hit you, hard. And now fog surrounds you. All of that almost feels like a dream, that is, until you feel the warmth on your chest. 
You're wearing a pendant. Even in the fog, you can see it clearly. The symbol of Timora. Let me just pull it up on stream here so everyone can see what that looks like. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I think I have it here somewhere. Uh, do, do, do. It's not this, is it? No. Uh, darn it. Oh, is this it? Hold on. There we go. Snazzy. Okay. So that's what you see. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, do, okay. And um, the symbol of Timora, you can feel the connection as you look at it. Hear her laughter. And you know that as you hold it, she is with you. All right. Uh, Fury, your turn. It was nighttime where you were. You were a little down on your luck lately. You'd accepted a mercenary contract. It seemed easy. I mean, you and a couple of rangers, you just had to protect a few stuck up nobles who wanted to do some fox and buck hunting in the nearby valley. You'd been out there with them almost two days now and had made camp. You're making pretty good money. It was your watch and you would help them start the fire, make the camp. You were thinking of how you were going to spend that money you were making. Whether you could use it to bail out your fiancé, save him from not only the local law, but also the cartel he borrowed the money from in the first place. Or maybe you could take the money and move far away. Make a new life somewhere from far from him and all the mess he put you through. You were stabbing the fire with a branch, trying to decide what to do tomorrow when you find yourself with your armor back on, fully equipped, and on a boat? And Archibald. The last thing you remember was running. Away. It was really difficult finding the Thieves' Guild in your city. It was even harder trying to convince them that a dwarf could be a valuable member when the best of them were all elves. And they were apparently on the Shadow Council. So you knew it was... Uh, wait. Uh, it was hard trying to convince them that a dwarf could be a valuable member when the best of them were all elves, and they were apparently on the Shadow Council. You knew it was a trick, or maybe a trap, that they were sending you on uh, to recover the Baron's crystal dragon from his private den in a dungeon of his keep. But you needed this. I mean... It was that or a go full rogue without a fence or any support in a city that famously hated thieves. So the only thing that you didn't count on was that the Baron had a pet grizzly bear. It came out of the darkness and looked at you from around the corner as you were halfway through picking the lock in the Baron's chamber. As you regarded each other in the darkness for a moment, you weighed your options. Then you dropped your tools and ran. It smashed through two doors that you closed to give you some distance, and you could feel and smell its hot breath as it was a pace behind you, as you desperately leapt up the stairs as fast as you could manage. Your heart is still racing as you look around in the fog. You can feel your toolkit is back, rolled up as you normally like it on your belt. You gasp and you wheeze, trying to catch your breath. You're safe. But where? Anyhow, you're all seated on wooden benches. Wait, no, it's rocking slightly under you. You can hear water lapping, the cry of seagulls. And though you can't see, you realize you're on a boat. Not only that, but there are others around who are making sounds of confusion. Perhaps they too don't know where they are. And that's where we start. Mm-hmm. The fog begins to clear. You start to see each other. And then you see that you're approaching what appears to be a large port city. You don't see anybody on any of the docks. In fact, 
You can see the burnt skeletal remains of ships sticking out of the harbor. A ghost city, perhaps. No one around, and you're slowly floating toward it on a sailboat with the sails down. How far, uh, how far from shore are we? Um, about a quarter mile, maybe. So the current is taking us in? Well, it looks like you've been propelled in this direction, but uh, it's possible that it's not going to take you all the way. Are there any paddles on board? I'm sorry, could you turn your mic up a little bit? Are there any paddles on board? Yes. Well, I, I guess you're... Start... Go ahead. Offer to start moving us forward. I've got the uh, skill to... Okay. Yeah, you have you know how to boat. You are... In your skills, I think you're a boater, so... You're just not going to question it? Or question who are these other people around you? You're just going to grab some oars <laughs> and start... Start rowing yourself in, or what? We can either sit here in the middle of the water, or we can at least go where there's some stable land. Yeah, I think we should uh, figure it out once we get on land. Who knows what's in the water? Knows what's on land. Yeah, that too, but at least we can fight on land. Yeah, I agree. Plus, I don't want to get my beard wet. I'd hate to get this armor waterlogged too. Yeah, you probably sink. Okay. Something or not, probably. So you're picking up oars and rowing in then. I think so. But, uh, it sounds like a good idea. Slowly. Uh, okay. Too eager, but cautiously. So cautiously you row towards the port. And you get closer and closer. And your first impression of it being a ghost town is perhaps true. You're not seeing anyone on the docks. And as you get closer and closer and able to see into down some of the streets, you're seeing a lot more. You're seeing that carts are knocked over, doors are hanging open, there's no smoke coming out of any of the chimneys of any of the houses here. And it's a pretty big city, I mean it's no Waterdeep or Om or anything like that, but mm -hmm. it's big enough of a city that this should be more. It looks as if the docks were all burned though by something, or someone. Is it still smoking or is it all... No, it looks like it's done smoking but you can see that there is still some like embers glowing on some of the ships that you pass well, this sounds fun uh can i hear anything can i do a, a little listen uh, i forget what the skill is sure go ahead um i guess above the water yeah Go ahead and um, roll a d20 and just get under your intelligence, but you'll get a plus 10 since you've got the skill. So your intelligence plus 10 and get under it. Did that d20 show up? Nope, yes, it did. It so you rolled a 13, so 23. I can definitely say that you'll made that. So <laughs> you kind of like sit up on the boat a little bit, kind of like listening, listening. You don't hear anything other than the ocean and all of the birds, like there's seagulls calling and you see a skinny dog like run down one of the alleys. Well, the birds are still here, so if there's any, uh, let's say if it's anything really nasty, it's probably moved on. Agreed. I thought I said that too quickly. So I think we can keep moving forward cautiously. I can take the lead. I'm probably yes, the most please. Of of us. Okay. So you um you're coming into the dock now. Did you want to dock the boat and get off? Sure. Yeah. The uh, yeah. anchor. Okay. So you grab some of the rope that's hanging off the side of the dock and you pull yourself in. 
And one by one, you climb up onto the docks and find yourself here in what looks to be an abandoned city. So, from what you can tell, this place has been ransacked or looted or something. But you're standing here looking down the streets. Hmm. I guess I'll kind of move forward cautiously. Um, Improvision going to do me any good in the fog? It's not really... Like, the fog seems to be lifting, actually. Okay. It's almost completely gone. And it seems to be steadily lifting. Pretty soon it will be completely gone. Is it uh, day or night? It's day. Hmm. Is there any kind of... uh... What do you call it? Like Dockmaster building or... Yeah, there seems to be like a Portmaster. Portmaster, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe take a look in there, see if there's any... I don't know. Paperwork or anything that would at least let us know where we are. Or maybe the last time the ship docked. Sure. So you go in there and... The table's cut in half. You can see the chairs are broken. It looks like maybe a fight happened in here. It's really hard to tell. No bodies? Um, there's no bodies. There is like a couple of scrolls and you open one up and you have never seen language like this before. It's like, you don't even recognize where the letters are from. Huh. Interesting. Are both scrolls like that? I would assume. Yeah, yeah. One has like, it looks like a like a ledger of some sort. There's like an itemized list. You can tell that at least. Yeah. The other one looks like it was like the start of a letter, or it might have been like taken from a book. It's hard to tell because everything's pretty ratty and stomped on. And all right, well, I guess I'll go back outside. Um, there's no bodies anywhere. We can't see any. And at least where we're at, outside on the docks, in the water. Nope, nothing floating in the water, nobody on the on the shore. There's no bodies. It's I mean, if this was attacked or something like that, you would certainly expect bodies. I mean, who ransacks a town and just takes all the bodies? I'm definitely feeling creeped out here. Necromancers. (laughs) I'm still confused as to why I'm here. I was just looking into a fire, and all of a sudden, I'm with you people here. Who are you? Did you take me? We need to survive. No, no. I was uh, running from a bear, and none of you look like a bear, so. Not that I know of. (laughs) So, um, yeah, I have no idea why I'm here, but can't just sit around and wonder, especially in this devastated town. Must have been the gods chosen. Maybe. My gods tend to be rather quiet. Did you say there was a dock? A dock? A dog. Oh, a dog. No, a dock. (laughs) There is docks. Like, there's this is the whole docking district, right? Like, it looks like these docks are large enough. To have maybe accommodated very large merchant vessels at one time. But right now, there are no ships here. There's a couple of large-ish ships in the water. um, But they're completely capsized, burned. Like I said, just the the skeleton of of the hulls sticking out of the water. That's all that's there. Okay, Wally's going to lean his shield against uh, one of the dock posts. Kind of give a big stretch grab his high quality fishing net and uh, slowly kind of lumber down the uh, one of the docks, uh, making sure he doesn't go through them, of course, um, cautiously, and just kind of check out the uh, hulls as he's passing by. And when he gets down there using his fishing ability, he's just going to put the net in the water. Mm-hmm. You're going to make his way back catch some fish that's what you're trying to do or yeah i just put the net in i'm not going to try to like sit here and fish the whole time i just want to while we're out looking around we're going to need to eat so at least we've got some uh, 
a possibility of catching something. Good call. So it's one of those nets where you've seen they've got the net and they kind of like throw it and twirl it. So it spreads out in the air, kind of lands and sinks, and then when you pull it, it kind of closes the net. Oh, okay. It's one of those types of nets. Oh, well, maybe I'll do that a few times, see if I can pull something in. Sure. You want to give me a um, dexterity roll for me? All right. And that's a die 20 plus or minus. It's going to be just a straight die 20 roll since you have the skill. Okay. And just try and get underneath your dexterity. Eight, I assume that gets under your dex? Yeah. Good. Okay, so you do that and you wrench it back. You start pulling. It's not very heavy, but you do seem that you've caught like a piece of wood and it looks like one fish. And the fish is pretty good. It's like that big. It's is it a, It's is it nothing that you've ever seen before. It's okay. It's kind of like got rainbow scales. It's beautiful, but it's not like any fish where you're from. Okay, so familiarities out of the yard question. I'll do a couple more tosses, see if I can pull a few more in. And, uh... Sure. So he's down there fishing. What are you guys doing? Um, well, since I grew up raising uh, wool, hunting wolves um, for my family, I'm going to see if I can, without venturing too far into the city, see if I can uh, track down that dog. Okay. Uh, did you want to... I guess since you're tracking it, we'll say it's a... Um, uh, well, are you trying to lure it to you? Or are you trying? What are you trying to do? What? Um, well, just kind of see where it went. Maybe if I can get it to come up to me. See if, you know, what, if, it, if it's injured, what kind of wounds it might have. Might indicate what happened. Or, you know, okay. give some information in that regard. Sounds good. So for tracking, we'll say um, intelligence. And then if you try to lure it to you, we'll say charisma. Sound good? Okay. Yeah, let's go with intelligence then. Let's try and track it first. Okay, we'll say um, just a straight roll since you are in the city. That's You don't really have any mud or anything to, to follow tracks. But... Gotcha. Oh, just over. Okay, so that's over your intelligence? Uh, it's by one. Yeah. Okay, so you failed. And you're out Ooh. looking for this dog. So he, you see one guy go down and start playing with the net. You see one guy going off down a street. Um, you can't really tell that he's looking for a dog specifically, but he's just looking around. So what are you two girls doing? Well, I'd rather be at home. I've got some <laughs> family business to attend to, but... I guess I'm here now, so as much as I'd like to get back home, I should probably make the best of what's going on. Um, you know, I was busy chopping wood before I got here, so I can put down my shield, pick up the halberd, use it as an axe, maybe see if I can find some trees to cut down and make ourselves a fire so we can keep warm. Okay, so you're going to kind of head towards the edge of town? Sounds good. Okay, so you start heading towards the edge of town. What about you, Fury? What are you doing? Um, I was kind of thinking if I could search for, I don't know, hidden objects or something. Secret doors, maybe? Okay, so start looking in some of the houses? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Sure, it's sounds good. Somewhere. Okay. Um, well, since you are a thief, um, you have a two in six chance of finding one if you're searching for it. So you want to roll a d6 and just try and get a one or a two. Actually, give me three of them. Just roll it three times. Okay. So of the three, you got one of those. So you're searching around. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go back to you guys in order and let you know what happened with each of your successive things. Um, so Wally, you are down there and you're collecting fish. Most of the time you throw your net, you get nothing. Um, there's not a lot around here by the docks. But being a fisher, I mean, you can kind of attribute that to the weird way that the, the water is probably a lot warmer here from all of the recent fire. And, ooh, close-up shot. Um, 
and also um, all of the debris in the water, right? So there's probably a pretty big disturbance just here. But you do get a handful of fish. Um, roll a d- uh, I'll roll a d6, why not? Let's see how many fishies you got. So you got three more. So you have four fish. Not too bad. You just lost sound. I lost sound or you lost sound? No, like I just couldn't hear that last little bit you said. Oh, okay. Did you guys, did all the rest of you hear it? Yeah. I got okay. it. Sorry, no, it's the leg on your lips. Okay, so I will, uh, I'll just kind of, you know, get them and kind of hang them up type of thing quickly and I'll go find out what everybody else is doing. All right, so you find a little bit of rope or whatever and tie them up or something? Yeah, or I'll even just use the net if I have to, kind of loop them through the net and hang them up. Sure. And then that way they're there for later. Sounds great. Okay. So you net them up, and uh, you start heading back to try and find these guys, right? Yep. Okay. Um, Archibald, you're wandering up and down the streets um, looking for this dog, and uh, you don't see it, um, but one thing that you do see that stands out is you kind of start walking what you figure must be the middle of the the town and you see something strange ahead of you is the town square but it doesn't look like any sort of normal town square that you would see in like the average you know run-of-the-mill city mm -hmm. it's a very round courtyard uh, let me just pull up this description here so I don't do it do injustice injustice um, in the middle of a very large market square style courtyard is a raised stone stage. Upon it are four giant stone arches, each of them made of a different colored stone. One is colored like a very gold and it looks to be decorated with flowers. One is obsidian or some sort of a, like dark stone. One is gray with gold veins and one looks to be white, like it's either porcelain or ivory or something like that. Um, all the way around, almost looming over the courtyard, are giant merchant houses, which also look like they were looted, and one empty tavern with the doors also open, and a sign hanging that says the Sly Rabbit. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the strange thing, of course, is these giant arches, like whatever they are. Yeah. Uh, can I do an alertness check, kind of see if I can, maybe if it's an ambush point, or before I venture really out into uh, the square proper. Sure, do you have a particular skill in mind you want to use? Uh, was it alertness, I think it is. Alertness, sure. Okay, so um, I'll give you a plus five if you're trying to look for it. So uh, intelligence again, plus five. Yeah, I think I made that, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of scout it out and you're like looking around, see if you can see anybody, you know, like hanging out of a window or arrow points glistening in the sunlight or anything, but you don't see anything. It's very quiet and strange. And I mean, you can see even in here in the carts here, there were market stalls, um, but everything looks looted and broken and the wheels are broken off of some of the carts. Um, but it looks like there was a market held in this town before it was ransacked, raided, whatever it was. Yeah. Is uh, Wally coming up uh, this you direction? Don't, or? You don't see him yet. You can see um, that red-haired elf. Um, she's kind of going in and out of, out of buildings. She's the only one that was close to you. Gotcha. Okay. So um, I'm going to come back to all of you in a minute. Okay. Um, so going off to Hildegard next, you also see something strange. You kind of head off right and follow, you know, what you think is probably the fastest way out of town. Um, and as you're walking, you realize that not only do you have a halberd, but also strapped to your backpack, you have a wood axe. So I guess you noticed that by now by the smile on your face. 
anyhow, so um, as you get closer to the edge of town, um, you see something very odd as well. Um, at the edge of town, you see that the town is surrounded by a, a graveyard. Gravestones, obelisks, mausoleums dot the countryside, hundreds of feet deep. And stepping outside of the walls of the town, just even a little bit, you can see that it just wraps around the outside of this town. And there's a clearing in farmlands beyond that, beyond all of the graves, and then forest, like as far as you can see beyond that. That's so awesome. That definitely sounds dangerous. Sounds amazing. <laughs> Out of character, it sounds really cool, but... So, did you want to walk through the graveyard? Through the farmlands and out to the forest, or no? No, I'm feeling it's maybe not so great an idea. I can handle a few things on my own, but it might be better if I was working with a team. There seem to be a lot of other competent people here. I saw one guy started to go fishing. Not sure where another one went, but, uh, you know, I think it might be better if we stuck together. So I'll head back to where we all landed, back to the docks. Yeah. And uh, let people know what's, been, what's out here. Okay. So you're like, okay, and you kind of turn around and start walking back. Um, Fury. Uh, you're walking around, kind of checking out houses, and yeah, it looks to me, or to you, that oh, it looks like that SVR thing keeps popping up. I'm just going to turn that off. Um, you're checking out all of the different houses, trying to find, you know, secrets, right? Delicious, yeah, delicious anything? secrets. Sorry, what? Didn't I find anything? Okay, so um, you did, actually strangely yeah. enough um you're looking at and i mean these places have been ransacked and looted there's no food there's not even any clothes or anything like the best thing that you can find is maybe some like chipped or cracked like wooden bowls and things like that basically things that are just not worth anything they were left from what you can tell um but what you do find is in the basement of a tavern you were just looking around down there it was like one of the last places you were going to check before you um, came back up but you went down there and you found a set of doors and it had writing on the doors but you couldn't really read it and you're thinking well it doesn't matter what it says it might have something expensive behind it so you opened them up and there was a short hallway and you just got this awful, awful feeling as soon as you open the doors, like, maybe you shouldn't be here. Because down the hallway are some torches, and they're burning. But it's like a blue flame. And it's very, very pale. It's cold down the hallway. And at the very end, there's an archway covered in runes and a completely pitch black portal so I mean it it's not a tunnel it's not a tunnel that you could like say oh it's just really dark in there it's a complete lack of light completely beyond the portal but with torches you want to take a torch is that what you said no as I said but with torches um there's torches on the walls. Yeah. But I mean, at the end of the hall, there's an arch attached to the back part of the hall. And in in the the archway is just complete darkness. It looks like a doorway, but it's completely black. Well, I um would be amazed at my find and. As you said, I had a 
efficient this is probably not something I should do by myself so I go back to the others see what they're up to and ask if they're interested in checking it out with me if somebody is all right so you start heading back as well so it sounds like everybody's starting to come back together you guys all kind of meet sort of where the docks and the main street kind of connect and I mean, you guys come wandering in at different times. You don't all just kind of like converge at the same time, of course. Right? But um, yeah, more or less, you guys come together. So you can go ahead and discuss what you like. Uh, so I found a, a square, but it's got these weird arches. Although I kind of like the gold one. I might see if I can take a bit of gold with me, but... Uh, I'm not sure what they're for. It might be sacrificial. It's it's really hard to tell. I saw Fury moving quickly out of some building, but I, I don't know what she saw. Well, speaking of arches, I also find some thing in the house down in the basement. Uh, I did get a not the best feeling about the place, but also I feel like. There must be something interesting down there. I just don't want to go down there myself. Uh, so if any of you guys, strangers, are, would trust me enough to uh, go on an uh, adventure down there, I would be happy to, uh, well, to uh, do say a, sure. A team. Probably the first sign of anything we found in here, unless somebody else has found something. It was dark down there, but there were torches on the wall. We could probably take them to uh, to look around carefully. I personally didn't find much, so I'm I'm happy to go wherever. I love myself a good fight if there's anything going on, so I'd be more than happy to come down. You're welcome Tie to go my... first. And uh, fisherman, what about you? Well, I was able to gather us some dinner for when the time approaches. Um, but if you're talking about uh, uh, going down there, there may not be many of us left. Um, that doesn't sound like something I want to go jumping into. Well, that's fair. I'm not opposed to checking it out, though. Our fighter can go poke it with a with that big pointy we stick she's got. Go slowly and see if uh, we still have. A, uh, we should go down there. We'll leave it alone. Um, can I make one recommendation? Of course you can. Uh, before we go walking down a corridor that ends in a dark portal, keeping us blocked in, maybe we should check our perimeters and uh, see what's on top that may corner us. Sounds like a plan. So I think um, I'm pretty good at scaling walls. I think I'll go back to that... Uh, Let's go back to the, the center of town there, and we can check out those arches. Yeah. And uh, I could just maybe climb up on one of the big houses or uh, one of the arches, depending on if they go above the houses. I don't I, remember. I can also climb walls. I'm good at climbing walls as well. Yeah, we can monkey our way up there and see what uh, see what we're looking at. Yeah, get an overview. I'll turn to the fighter and I'll say... Uh, uh, I'm Wally. I'll, I'll, then I'll kind of look to everybody. I'm Wally. Um, Archibald. Uh, My name is Hildegard. Uh, I don't know why we're here, um, but we are going to need to try to get through this. So uh, maybe we should also find a place to stay temporarily. Did uh, Fury, when you were going through the, the houses, did you find anything that looks... Uh... I noticed there was a tavern off the uh, off the city, the square. It might be a good place to base ourselves from, as long as it checks out all right. Well, it was in the basement of the tavern. I, f I found the... Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we want to camp that close to it in case it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad a tavern sounds like a lovely place to stay. I don't know, right? but looking at this place, I don't... I don't know. I don't even know if there is a safe place in this town. Where, um, um there was a dog, right? I Where, couldn't uh... find it. I went looking for him, but he has gone off uh, somewhere. Were well, there any, he... uh... 
They often have yeah. a, has a sixth sense, so. Yeah. Where Are there the any other people on the boat? Rabbit? What's that? Were there any other people on the boat? Are they doing anything, or? There's they... nobody, it's just you four. Just us four? Okay. Well, if you two want to take higher ground, uh, maybe Hildegard and I can uh, start walking the uh, streets and uh, opening doors and seeing what uh, comes forward. Okay, well, I'll, kind of, at least. I'll point down the streets and, and tell you which direction the city square is so we can kind of all converge since it seems like the roads kind of head that direction. And then uh, I think you're... That's a good idea, safety in numbers. I think we should find that dog. It's probably, uh, you know, it's got to belong to somebody or something. Yeah, I'll keep, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can track him down while I'm up on roofs. roofs. Yeah, I will look for movement too. Okay, so you're both going to scale up on top? Yeah, yeah. I would think maybe like one on either side of a street, you know, she'll go up. One Four eyes see better than two. Sure. And uh, the other two? What are you doing, Hildegard and Wally? I'm happy to follow. Well, I'll lead. Because... I think they're going to be at street level checking houses as we move back towards, uh, towards uh, the city center. Okay. Yeah. So, um, if Archie and Fury could give me a uh, climb sheer surface roll... Oh, it's a percentile for these. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's a waste of a nice roll. <laughs> yeah, it was a waste. Well, that right? would have been a fail if you were doing an ability score, so yes. maybe it's for the best. I think you both made it, though, correct? From what you can see on your sheets? Um, mine's 75%, so I would assume yes. Yeah. The 19. I think both of yours are around there, so... Good. Okay, so you both start climbing up buildings, and soon you're standing on top of the, uh, the roofs, uh, one on either side of the, uh, the street. Uh, let me just roll something here. Okay. So you're both standing up there, and um, actually, Archie, you spot the dog first. And the dog has apparently wandered out of the city. It's far away. You can barely see it. But it's wandered out of the city, and you can see it's walking down the road, looking like it's heading towards the forest. Is it running or just kind of strolling along? It's kind of trotting. It doesn't hmm. look like... Is it injured in any way? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Just trotting along. Like, doo -doo -doo. And starved, right? It looks it starved, cute. yeah. Okay, well, I'll let everybody know that I've seen the dog, and uh, that it's not running, which is probably a good sign that we're still on our own but it uh, it might be heading somewhere that uh, you know to other inhabitants or whatever can I use my infravision or does it have to be dark for me to uh, see heat uh, infravision is always on so you can see heat but times when it's like daylight like this yeah it's it doesn't work very well. It works best in, in the night. Okay. But I mean, if there was... I mean... It, it actually sees in the infrared spectrum, rather than... So... It was just if I could uh, detect uh, living, living creatures. If around. there was one that was invisible, you might see it. Okay. I guess there's not, then. It might be best if we set up camp for the night. I can make us a nice fire, maybe. We can have some hot food. I saw you were uh, catching some fish earlier. Well, I think Wally had a good idea. We should find somewhere indoors. I could that. also, in the forest uh, nearby, I could uh, check for some um, fungi. See if there's something we can eat. That works too, but we haven't even explored the town. I don't know if we want to get into the forest yet. Yeah, let's let's head this. Like I said, this, I think we should go towards this town center and and see what you know our group 
uh, eyes can detect and find uh, find somewhere in there because it seems like a good central point to, to head out for anything else. Find That's somewhere in there to camp. So there's got to be another tavern. A tavern would be good because Hildegard can get a nice fire going in the earth. Maybe there's some ale, some old provisions, who knows. The, I have a lot of, A lot of very uh, expensive looking houses around there, so there's probably some really comfortable beds. That's a great <laughs> idea. Okay. So you start making your way to the middle of town, and... By the time you get to the courtyard, you've picked out a few things that you can see in the distance. Nothing is really like along your your route that your your route route whatever that you're heading on. Um, however, you do see um, a couple of things that seem untouched by all of the ravaged war or whatever happened here. Um, there's a couple of things that seem to actually not be touched. So, of those, there is a large church. Um, you can see the steeple, but you can't really tell what the denomination is from where you are. But, I mean, it doesn't look defiled. It doesn't look broken. And from what you can see, the large doors that, you, that are there are closed. Which is unlike a lot of the buildings that you've seen here, with all the doors hanging open. Are we, um, do we see that uh, from the rooftops, or are they seeing it down at street level? Uh, from the rooftops. How far away from the uh, the city center is it? It's pretty far, in the opposite direction from the docks. Okay. Like, near um, the far wall. And you can see that the whole town is walled, which might be interesting. Um, it's not like a fortifiable wall, however, um, but perhaps just there to keep, like, the... The wildlife out of the town perhaps uh, okay. well i'll definitely let everybody know that i see this this untouched church off in the distance yeah see if we want to uh kind of bypass the the tavern with the scary tunnel for the moment uh, and see if the, that church might be good for shelter and that's, well, wine. that's a great idea wine, wine and gold <laughs> yes and fury you see something else too um, to the west side of the town, you can see a large pavilion of some sort. You think it's a fountain? Maybe from what you can tell? There looks to be like a, like a large like white statue in the middle of a water fountain, which appears to be flowing, which says a lot as well, perhaps. But there's a large pavilion with a, a building of some sort. It has all kinds of beautiful columns. Like maybe a, I am intrigued. some sort of community it? space anyway. You can't really tell much more than that from here. How far would you say this? Also, it's pretty far. It's near the west side of the, the city, near the wall as well. Hmm. I definitely want to check that up. Do we want to find shelter first and then... Oh yeah, I'm not saying now, but at some okay, point cool. I want to check it out. So we got a scary tunnel and a really nice looking fountain to check out but it was daytime so we just need a shelter right to have a common uh, place um, a camp of some sort and then we will go from there yeah, or what, what time, uh, what time our, of day uh, is it can we tell it's afternoon of some at some point it's very difficult to tell okay the sun is still hitting still pretty that. high well I guess the is the fact that we're surrounded by a cemetery common knowledge now, or...? I don't think... She, has I... she said? Have you said? Can, can we see I from the chat? I haven't yet. But if Archibald was also up on the building and saw the oh, dog yeah. running into the uh, forest... Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Since she didn't say that, both of you on top would see that. That the yeah. town, other than the fact that it is a harbor So Wally town, doesn't know unless we didn't tell yeah. him. Uh, Wally okay. is the only one that doesn't know, I guess, at this point. But yes, the two of you on top of the roofs, the ones that are like leaping from rooftop to rooftop, um, you can see that the entire town is surrounded by this graveyard. It goes all the way around. There must okay. be thousands and thousands of graves. Well, since I can... Uh, I will... Breck, uh, I would let Wally know. 
dub it out, you know. Do they look very old or uh, a mix of new and, and old? Like it's pretty new. hard to tell from up here. But some of them look like they're broken. They could be old and crumbling, or they could just be broken. It's hard to tell from where you are. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we'll, uh, you know, we'll keep moving along the rooftops after letting, yeah. uh, you know, Wally and uh, Hildegard know, because I don't know that she's seen it. So, you know, kind of just shout down that there's a graveyard all around the place. Kind of keep moving forward as we look. <laughs> It's creepy. I don't like it. Um, Wally will speak up and say, um, how far is the church? Can you make it the distance? Uh, it's, a, it's a good distance. It's towards the back wall, but it looks untouched. That might be one of the safest places to stay. We can hope so. I think we should keep moving towards it. I'll let you know if I see anything uh, untoward on the way. Yeah, there's still time in the day to go to the church, even if it is a bit away. We can make it. I think so. All right, start working our way towards the church. Sure. So you make your way towards the church. Um, eventually, the the large like merchant homes, which are tall and make it a little easier since they're so crowded together to kind of travel the rooftops here, kind of give way to smaller individual homes and shops and and uh and yards so it actually makes it very very difficult to travel on the rooftop so you do eventually have to come down okay. and um you travel together as a small group and watching all around you i would assume um as you make your way over towards the church and as you start getting close it's pretty obvious where it is um as it looms over all of the the smaller buildings around it you pass by an abandoned blacksmithy and a tanner you can see that there's a boyer and like all kinds of craftsmen that you're passing by all the shops which appear to also be similarly ransacked um i guess i don't have to keep saying that just assume that everything's <laughs> ransacked unless i say otherwise how's that you say ransacked but do we still see any form of tradesman's tools present blacksmith do we see oh especially you know, the blacksmith stuff the stuff that's really heavy like anvils and all the heavy heavy hammers and stuff like that they're there um, but smaller stuff or any like half finished weapons that might have been there are gone. There's the forge. The forge, yes. What about the forge? I, I'm just saying. So there is is a. Oh yes, there's definitely a forge there. You could you could reignite it. In fact, you can still see that the uh, embers are still smoldering in the in the forge as well. I'm a. I'm not and I mean, I don't know how much you guys know about forges, but I mean, it's it's still smoldering, so I don't know if that tells you anything. <laughs> well, it hasn't been empty for too long. Well, we could use it to start a fire. This is so bizarre. Easily. Yes. Very bizarre. Also, if there's still fire in the forge, and there's no people, but it seems looted, who used the forge? And when? It, it, it couldn't have been more than a day ago or something yeah i would think so i make bows for a living but the time i've spent around forges they're so hot they take they can take several days to cool off so right. so i would say let's just keep keep trekking towards the church yeah make a note of where these uh you know these blacksmith and the tanner is because if we're stuck here we're going to need those those facilities to uh, you know do what we need to do I'm personally not too interested in the forge I know I didn't have the greatest sleep last night so it would be great to find a place to rest and maybe take a moment to recover get our bearing can we do we do anybody see uh like as uh steak or something and some some cloth we could make a, a torch for the, the ember um I think we could at some point it seems to be pretty bright out I don't know I well mean, still it's just good to have have one with you you could also use it as a weapon true yeah, I, I'm not opposed animals. to that yeah make some torches yeah 
Well, let, let's ch- we're already here. Let's check this church out. Get some lodging. We may need to gather some uh, things, you know, to keep us through the night. Wood for a fire. We'll go back get the food. Uh, the mushrooms are a great idea. I'm not. Uh, uh, that being said, I don't know what the local plant life is going to be like. I hope you're skilled in that because the local fish, nothing I've seen before. But, yeah, uh, I didn't. I saw some scrolls with a language. I don't. I can't even comprehend. I've never seen it. So, this is just a really bizarre circumstance. But with the grace of Tabora, we'll get through this. Let's see so. what the church holds. Make our way towards this church. Okay. So as you approach the church, uh, so yeah, unlike other parts of the city, this building looks undamaged. Um. And for some reason, there is no symbol on the door, um, but it is, you know, made out of a gray stone, and um, all of the wood has been painted gray. Any wood that's there, and it looks like that it's been well maintained too. Like it's not flecked and peeled and stuff. Somebody has been upkeeping this church very diligently. Doesn't look like an emblem was taken off. No. Nope. Doesn't look like it was not there to begin with. No, but it does look as if there was, at some point, um, there's a slab in front. So there could have been a, a statue or something positioned there right in front of it at some point. Or maybe a big symbol. Who knows, right? Something. But it's not there now. Sure. Um, I guess I could make a listen uh, check against the door, see if I can hear anything inside. Sure. Is there any damage on the outside of the building? No. And, I mean, not at all. And not even on the doors or anything. Like, nobody's touched it. Well, let's let our thief go ahead. Yeah, let me check out the door. Sure. What do I need to roll on that? Uh, for listen? Mm Mm-hmm. Unless you, um, you can make a thief-style listen. Um, which is what? What do you have for your roll? Um... I don't know. What am I looking for? You're looking for hear noise under thief abilities yeah. on your second page. Ten percent. Ten percent? Yeah, ten percent. I'll give you a plus ten percent since you actually have the skill as well. So sixty-nine. Do you don't hear anything? I'll try. It's pretty thick doors. Okay, so you go up and try as well. Go for it. Uh. Okay. No. Nope. Sounds no. pretty quiet to you. Mm-hmm. Well, that could be a good sign. Can we check for traps on the door? Sure. Is that another percentage? It should be on your sheet there, too. I have remove traps. Is That's that fine, Dan. Remove traps. Damn it. I suck today. <laughs> Well, I will try to. Sure. You know. He didn't set anything off, so that's a good sign, right? What's your find or remove traps there, Fury? Also a 10. 10? <laughs> yeah. You guys didn't find any traps. Yeah, the joy of first roll, level, though. huh? It's nice. Yeah, mine was 35%. But... <laughs> oh. Or at least we didn't set any off. So. Right, yeah. right. There's no. Uh, uh, keyhole to take a peep through or no there doesn't appear to be a lock Um, is there a handle yep there's large iron rings that you could open the door with well I think our uh, armor wearing fighter should have the honor of opening the door yeah if it's (laughs) I'm a little too uh, squishy alright I can push it open with my shield out front (laughs) okay alright so you uh, you go to push open the door, but it doesn't. It pulls. So are you still going to pull it open? Yes? Oh, my bad. Uh, let's pull this thing open. All right. So you grab the ring and you pull, and it opens surprisingly easy. I mean, it opens oh, as so if... Go, sorry, go Everything ahead. is easy to me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Anything Except could for modesty. Easy. That's true, with your strength. You open the door, and inside, similar to the outside, it appears to be untouched. 
you can see that there are like candlesticks all positioned along. Nothing is lit, but there's candles still in them, and they appear to be made of silver, from what you can tell. You can see that there are hooks on the wall, and there's all kinds of robes. And the first thing you notice when you open it up is there is a huge statue right at the far end behind the pulpit. And it's a very large statue of a man in full plate armor holding his sword aloft into the air and wearing a shield. And bearing a shield, I suppose I should say. Can and the first thing that you guys all feel is completely inferior because the man's head is slightly lowered. And even though it's a statue completely inanimate and is definitely a statue, it feels as if it's staring at you and you feel inadequate. You just feel just like almost the seething judgment that's coming off of this statue just staring at you as you open the door. I think for the first time in my life I've seen something stronger than me. <laughs> Can we see its face? Can we tell if it's human or it looks human. Human like? Human like, definitely. I mean, hands, just the feeling tentacles. you're getting off of it tells you that it's probably not human or based off of something that's not human, but... Doesn't have tentacles for hands? No tentacles, no. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, just kind of follow uh, McShield in the door and, you know, just kind of check the place out, I guess. Sure. Unless anybody has any objections. How big is this church as we enter? Is it, uh, you know, is it like, I, I'm guessing it's not cathedral size, but is it uh, like a small kind of like remote Western kind of church? Or a little is bigger it, than uh, that. You figure you could probably seat probably about 150 people, maybe. Okay. All right. That's a fair size. It doesn't look like it has an upper tier. Um, there are wings up above but they don't look large like you could go up there and like kind of stand on the railing and look over if you wanted to but okay. it doesn't look like there's other rooms and stuff up there yeah. or anything no yeah. are there okay. rooms uh more rooms in the church uh behind the pulpit there's, there's Check a out door, the robes. Yes. you said there are robes on the wall um there are stained glass windows um, there are some, like, scripture that you can't read. Um, I don't think any of you have this language. However, however, um, you can see that there are the occasional hymn book sitting on some of the seats, and it's written in common. Hmm. Did the robe, didn't you say there were robes along the wall? Yeah, and they have just, like, a, a shield with a sword coming down as a symbol. What color are they? Uh, they're all gray. Gray. Um, just check out the hymnal. Sure. See what it says. Yeah, you pick it up and you start flipping through it, and it says something about someone named Tempest, which does ring a bell. I mean, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the gods of Faerun, but that is definitely a god of Faerun. Is it listed in common alongside this other? weird language or no there's no other weird language this whole hymnal is written in in um in so common. we can't use it as kind of like a rosetta stone but i mean the stuff on the walls it could be i mean you've seen this type of thing before it could be celestial <laughs> some some of the uh the gods anything up uh i'm gonna go check out the pulpit See if the friar left behind any sermons or you know, wine, or, <laughs> any or, wine, or gold, or you know, see if any offerings be uh, appropriated. Sure, sure. So you go up there and you check it out. Um, behind the pulpit is a uh, coiled up in the the actual like pulpit. There is a thorned whip. Ooh, kinky. And you can see little bits of, like, dried flesh still stuck to it. Is there any kind of, uh, what do you call it, uh, stocks or any kind of, uh, you know, pillar or anything up on the, uh, the, 
around the pulpit where someone would be strapped to? No. Nope. That, that would be used on? No? No. Any doors leading off the pulpit? Yes. Uh, there seems to be a back room door of some sort just off to the side. Um, however, on the, like, beside the pulpit and around on the ground, you can see that there's, like, blood stains. How fresh is it? Not fresh at all. Just dark stains that you would assume is blood. Can we search for supplies? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I'll let everybody know, you know, I don't know what they're checking out, but uh, kind of hold up the whip and mention that it's probably not a friendly church. What did you say, Fury? I'm sorry, you said something. Oh, I was just asking if we could uh, search for supplies. Search for supplies, okay. Are you going into the back room? Yeah, uh, I want to find some wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Someone really likes wine. Okay, In this so world. <laughs> <laughs> you go into the back room, and um, there are two things that you notice. First, there is like a small living area back here, and um, you can see that like there was food on the table, but it's all rotted. Like, it's just rotted away to nothing and covered in fungus. Um, but also, there is a bricked-up area just off to the left-hand side with a small hole in it and a weird smell. It's kind of a gross smell coming from that area. But in the little, like, living area here, there's, like, a little bedroll, very sparse. There's a, uh, a hair shirt. Do you know what I, I mean when I say a hair shirt? Okay, no. Archibald's nodding. Do the rest of you? No, I don't. Okay, so a hair shirt is basically just that, like, very bristly, like, animal hair turned inside out. And religious um, customs used to dictate that you would have it on yourself to prove your devotion, that you could undergo this sort of, like, torturous um, lifestyle. So probably the priest or whatever was wearing hair shirts. Which might lead you, if you are religiously inclined, to believe that that whip might have been used on themselves. And he's probably walled himself in. Possibility. Um, his... hmm. well. are, there... are there any other rooms uh, off the... Just that wall, that area with the hole, just just like one little hole, like maybe big like, enough that you yeah. could slide a plate through. I guess I could uh, search for secret doors. Sure, go okay, ahead. Okay, uh, this room. Yep, roll a d6. Wally, do you have any idea what's going on here? I assume you know a little bit about uh, good roll religion. Uh, well, it's not. Uh religious order that I follow. I'll be but... right back. Let you guys discuss this. But, uh... I never really paid much attention myself to all the bigger pictures. Well, they're certainly into pain, whether inflicting it uh, on others or themselves. Uh, kind of up in the air at the moment. Yeah. It's, uh, it seems a little twisted. Yeah, this, that's, uh, I'm interested to, uh, to see what's in that, uh, that little room, if it's safe. Okay. Free cat. Free cat. Yeah, you know, this might not be the safest place to stay after all, if all things considered. Well, I guess it depends on what's on the other side of that brick wall. It's kind of like Pleasantville. Yeah, we could take that wall down. I have a feeling that the uh, priest or the friar, the acolyte, somehow walled themselves in. Some form well, of if, it's, uh, it's, if it's a very small room, they couldn't because there's not enough room for them to do it. Uh, well, if it's, if but, it's... We'll see, but we'll see what I found. Apparently I uh, found something, didn't I? Didn't know like what I found yet. Well, worst case, we I'm can not always quite close sure. I'm still, still looking at it. I haven't figured out what. I... Pile up all the benches in front of it. And... 
Like, does somebody have a, a huge axe at, or a hammer or something so we can just break it down? It's a brick wall, right? Yeah. Yes. We should be I'll be sure I've got, a really good, I've got a big hammer. I'm sure our fighter could just punch it. I mean, I could punch a brick wall. It might not go so well for my hand. <laughs> I guess, oh. The DM does the, has returned. Does the wall look like it was crafted after everything else? It looks like it's been there for some time, but definitely after the rest of the church's construction, yes. Um, what did Fury, uh, she did a check for doors. Did she find right. Um, you check for secret doors. You don't find any. Oh, can we, it was uh, a good roll. <laughs> it was a good roll. It was a very good roll. Can if we there see were anything doors, through the, you uh, found them. Through the little slit, is it dark in there? Is there any light? It's very dark and it stinks. There's no light. Is there, is, can we, does it smell like, you know, is there, do we have to make a check if we to figure out if we recognize this? Something died in there. You're yeah, I was sure. going to say, it's, yeah. something is dead in there. Um, yeah. I'd say we uh, we take it down. Break the down the wall. Okay. What do you Let use to break it with? Somebody had a. Wally's got that big old hammer. Yeah, I'll I'll take uh, I'll take off my mace. Sure. So you're gonna use the mace, Wally? Yes. Okay. So yeah. you uh you start smashing it. It doesn't take much. I mean, with a huge, like, two-handed mace, you bring the, the wall down pretty quickly. Um, behind it, um, you can see there is the skeletal remains of, you think, a woman? Um, but they're completely mummified. <laughs> but they're wearing the, the robes of whatever god Tempest, you guess? Wait, are they skeletons or are they mummified? Uh, it's a mummified things. skeleton, so it has a bit of like stretched out leathery skin on a skeleton. It's human? Or appears human? Could be, you think? Um, it doesn't it appear to have out. pointy ears anyway. <laughs> um, and there appears to be like a very small window at the back as well. Like people outside could have maybe come to the back of the church and. Yeah. Seen inside, or like handed food in, or maybe who knows. But it wouldn't have been big enough to even like look outside and actually enjoy the the scenery or anything. So maybe it's a, a reliquary or a saint of some sort, or someone who is sainted. In my guess, does it look like? Uh... Just can we tell from the robe? Is it you know? Does it is it intact? Does it look like this person was, uh, you know, attacked or uh, not offering for an offering? You know, is there any kind of sacrificial look about it? No, it looks like it's just stained from the rotting of this body. That's about it. And so no, no crime involved. No, unless you consider walling someone else walling someone up and letting them slowly <laughs> die of starvation perhaps like well that's, that's the point if she was dead before she died uh, before so she was, was voluntary. Or not. Right. so it's the bones of one person one person and there's yeah. like a, an old bedroll in here and uh, a stool and like some half finished knitting does the knitting look like anything or is it just it could be a shawl I don't know. It's so old and it's partially decayed itself. Any jewelry or any uh, pendants um, or anything like there that? There is a, a holy symbol on the on the thing. On Does the, it match the what's on the robe? It's very. Oh, it's the same the symbol that's on the robe. Yes. I'm gonna go gather one of the other robes, mm -hmm. and I'll come back and I'll get uh, ask Hildegard, kind of wrap the uh, body up. Sure, I'll put down my shield and my uh, I'll, I'll holster my halberd. I'll help. Sure. And uh, Give her some you dignity. said there was a you said there was a big cemetery outside. Oh yes. Yeah, That's I good. saw it on my way out before. Uh, I was thinking of getting some wood to help us make a nice fire, but I've got mm -hmm. I got a flint and. Uh, is the church right up against the wall, or is there still some distance to the wall? Quite church? a distance to the wall. 
It's oh, okay. it's kind of situated in the midst of a bunch of small houses and tradesmen's shops. Because I was wondering if there might be, if we're going to go to the graveyard, if there any kind of door in the wall, if but this, maybe we should just put the body outside for now and, you know, get ourselves situated in the church. Yeah, that's fine. We need to find a shovel as well. Burn it. We could burn it. That'd be quick, but I don't want to burn it right next to the church. I'm kind of tell no, them whatever's but just to be safe. Burn it because we don't know if it uh, has diseases. If it come back to life, we just know things can do that. Oh, you've True. definitely heard of things doing that. Some of you may have seen, and some of you have only heard of it. I think you know who of you has seen it before. Yeah. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, if you guys want to do that, knock yourself. I don't put much much stock in it. That this thing doesn't look like it's moved in. No, just many, in the contrary years. to burying it. It sounded like uh, what Archibald wanted to bury it. No, no, that was Wally. Wally wanted oh, to. Oh, sorry. But it's a, you guys, it's a town surrounded by a cemetery. I'm inclined to believe that the faith that this woman was a part of believed in burial. Good point. So. I'm also like, I thought about seeing all these graveyards. That there has to be have been some um, empathy in this community. Otherwise, they would just be like mass graves. But this is like divided into separate gravestones and places. So there. Is it is it possible for me to uh, get up on top of the, like the back of the wall? Like climb the, the church, you mean? Yeah. See if there's like a door or an archway or anything, so we don't have to walk all the way back in front of the city. Um. I mean, you can get on top of the church. I mean, you're definitely nimble enough to do that and crawl up the corner or something. Like, yeah, grab onto the just... flagstones and up you what go. What about the tower? Is there a a clock tower? Uh, there's a bell tower. Yeah, bell tower. Yep. Well, that'd probably be easier than going up the roof. But, I mean, from here, there's only just, like, cords hanging down so you could ring the bell. Oh, okay. Can't climb up Which there. are back by the pulpit. Um, however... I mean, there isn't like stairs going up. Can we tell if uh, can we? See, is there like? Uh, yeah, there's like windows up by the bell. Or, you yeah. Know, so you mm -hmm. out? Like you, there's light coming in way, way up there. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, I guess I could just try climbing the ropes. Um, oh yeah, you could definitely do that. It might be a little loud, course, but sure. Yeah, it's gonna ring the bell. Are... Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, the, there's there's obviously a chance that if there's anything. City, they're gonna hear it and come this direction. Could be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Any objections to climbing that, or should I? Well, we didn't see anything, and I didn't really. We were uh, up on the roofs. Well, they're uh, planning this out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take a step out and uh, check one of the tradesmen's areas for, you know, some form of a shovel or a pick or something to help me dig a grave. Sure. Um, around back of the church, um, there is a, a tool shed and there's some of the bigger things. Sure. You find a, a shovel. That's not a big deal. Perfect. Do I also find a wheelbarrow by chance? <laughs> oh, now you're stretching it. <laughs> There is a, a wood sled. You could Perfect. probably drag something. I'll bring that around the front, and okay. I'll put the body on it, and I'll say Hildegard, uh, you know, we also have a way to get ourselves uh, some wood for fire. Sounds awesome. Uh, I guess uh, I guess I'll climb up the ridge. Yeah. Okay. Just an easiest way to the top. Are you you're using the the rope then? Yeah. It'd be the safest way, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give you a, a plus 10 to your climb roll. That's the 20? Uh, no, it's 20? percentile. Percentage again? Yeah. Yeah, I made that. I think, it's, I think my climb is what's 5. 
Yeah, 75%, so uh, it's like I made that. Oh, yeah, you rolled a 20? Yeah. 20%? Yeah, okay, so you made it. So Archibald uh, grabs onto the rope and starts climbing. As soon as you grab onto the rope and pull yourself up, the bell swings. And uh, like, bong, 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 right? And as you're climbing, the rope's going up and down as you're climbing. And you're able to go up. You're, when you get up a little bit, you kind of put your feet on the wall and just kind of scamper up. You're up there pretty quick, so it doesn't ring too much. You could stop it if you wanted to by the time you get up there. I um, probably would, because it would be very loud. It would. So it does ring a good half dozen times by the time you get to the top. Um, Hildegard, Wally, you're out um, bringing the body to the front by the time he gets to the top. Fury, what are you doing while this is all going on? Well, I thought I was the, I would go just outside the, 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 blah, blah, the church uh, and stand guard to see if uh, there is movement because of him ringing the bells. Sure. Um, like have a really um, uh, like uh, use my alert alertness to really listen and check for uh, any movement like sure. no matter how small okay so you're looking around mm -hmm. and um they're bringing out the body archibald's climbing up and then something you know you're just sitting there watching around for quite a while like maybe a good few minutes and then all of a sudden a shadow falls over the church just for a second just everything goes dark, like a cloud passed over the sun or something. I mean, it's getting a little later on now in the afternoon. And, you know, it's it's still pretty overcast, a little bit of a gloomy day. But, Fury, you see it first. You see a really large, dark shadow in the sky. Taking up a lot of the sky. And it's coming right towards the town. Can I see it from the top of the church? Or Not from yet. The, the Fury bell tower? sees it first, so I just want to know what she's gotcha. doing. Well, I'm very, I am already in a uh, alert state, so uh, I want to uh, get a better look at it. So I guess I'm going to an area where there's not um, buildings covering it up, so I can. Like look up uh, to see if I can figure out what it is because it doesn't seem like it's just a shadow. Uh, it seems like there's something there, but I can't really. Okay. See what it is. Uh, so I'm uh, guess I'm looking to see how far uh, Wally and uh, Hildegard has come with their thing. Right. See if they've seen it too. Okay, you're seeing them. They don't seem to have noticed. They're busy, you know, wrapping up this body on the front steps here. Um, very, like, they're being very respectful and making sure they wrap up the body, but they're not noticing this because it's not making any sound at all. Like, you don't hear anything. Mm. It's just this huge shadow that's getting bigger and bigger. And just before it breaks through the clouds, you can see the size of the wings. They're stretching way dragon. larger than you've ever even heard of dragons being this big before I and it breaks through the cloud me. cover and it's a purely immense red dragon I mean you've heard that there's large dragons and ancient dragons in the world but you thought for sure that if you ever did see a dragon it would probably just be a small dragon because dragons this size could easily devastate this town anybody else can any of uh anyone else see it yet i you are just about to see it archie i well, just I wanted to get, give fury the first gotcha reaction yeah well already when we were uh this port town i was actually saying out loud that it looked like something a dragon might have done because of how the city looked. 
So I'm not that surprised, but as you said, such a huge one. No, so um, I guess I'll yell at the the other two to uh, be careful, maybe, so we can go inside the church. Okay. So it doesn't notice us at first. So you're yelling, be careful? No, not yelling, yelling, but like quietly <laughs> yelling, if that makes sense. Tell me like, exactly psst. what you're saying. Hey, hey, you guys! Shh, stop, stop what you're doing! Look up the sky! There's, there's a dragon! You guys hear, Quiet. it's a dragon. <laughs> quietly! It's a red dragon! Can I hear her inside dragon. the church? Um... Archibald, you don't see it. However, you're up in the bell tower. Yeah. And um, just as you, like, see the wing kind of come out of the cloud. Stop ringing the bell! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dragon! I'm just going to slide right down there. <laughs> okay. <you're laughs> right down the, the rope. Okay. Oh. You're I sliding down the rope? Then. Yeah, I'm just have gonna slide on. straight down. Okay, you slide down the rope. Unfortunately, sliding down the rope starts the bell ringing again. Of course. <laughs> and bong as you're going down, you see the 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 head turn instantly towards the uh, the tower and start curving in the sky, banking its wings and coming um. right towards the church. You all see this right now. It's pretty far away from you now. You don't sure how good dragon's eyes are, but it's definitely coming towards the church. Uh, I would make the connection that the church is untouched and start yelling for everybody to, to come inside because odds are if the church is untouched either the dragon dragon's fire doesn't uh, you know affect the church or it can't go near the church or basically the church is, is safe. <laughs> Get inside so the church. You're yelling. Maybe that's the that's yeah. why the, the corpse was in there to keep it safe. Possibly. Uh, I didn't Let's make drag that connection. Let's drag her back inside. Okay, so you grab hold of Fury and pull her inside? <laughs> okay. well, I, I am inside. Oh, okay. I think she said grab the... Uh, oh, uh, the body. The, the body. body. Yeah. And bring I it back inside. <laughs> I assume you're going in too, Wally? No. You're not? I'm going to yell, get out of the church, and I'm going to uh, <laughs> back into something else. Okay. Is there somewhere else for me to go? Um, like I said, there's only little houses and shops around here. I mean, there's no. lots of different places you could go, but if you run from this church, you will definitely be seen, is what I'm saying. How far was the tavern hmm. with the basement? You are really far from that. Really, oh. really far. Like yeah. a good that could ten actually be a safe place in this case good 10 minute walk to get back to the tavern from here. And there's no basement in the church? That seems weird. Not that you can see. Well, it's not that that strange for like a medieval style building. Alright, I'll go into the church. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If we die, we die together. So, you get back in the church. Do you close the door? Oh yeah. Okay. You grab the no, door and close it. You're all down pretty far, like and you see the shadow. I mean, you're down. You're all inside the church. Doors closed. The shadow from the dragon does block out the light from the top of the tower. And you hear the, the scream of the wind on its wings. And you feel the walls shudder. As it must have like flown so close to the, the church that it just reverberated like shook the wall and as soon as you hear the scream it just kind of disappears up into the sky again you assume and you hear nothing so what are you doing I'll uh, hold on to my shield a little tighter as it is also my symbol of Timora and uh, ask for uh, you know her to kind of watch over us because I don't know. Uh, are all the all the windows stained glass? There, yes. we can see. Can we go like they're like completely colored in? Can we see anything out of them, or is it just like some you know it's filtered sunlight? Colored, but I mean, if you're getting right to the right up to it, just the difference in light, you can see like every once in a while something dark 
just pass by the window, far enough away that you can tell that it's circling the church. So it's still out there. Um, I guess I'll just kind of, since my short ass is close to the ground, can I see out the, or are they up, up higher? Can you see what? Can I see out the windows being a dwarf? Oh. You know, can I look directly at them? Are they close to the ground or are they up, you know, up higher? They're up higher. Okay. I so mean, I you could hop up on grab a hold of the ledge and pull yourself up yeah. onto the window ledge, but it's up to you. Um, yeah, I'll kind of jump up and just, you know, look out the window and just see if it's doing anything other than circling. Sure. What are the rest of you doing while he's doing that? Well, circling usually means that it's searching for some, something to prey on. Right? Like How birds? much do you know about dragons? Probably not a lot. <laughs> Probably not well, a lot. I, f- I figure they kind of like birds, you know, if uh, they uh, circle that because they, um, they want to stay in that area to find something, or else they'll just move on. At least it hasn't so burned just... the church down, so that's got to mean something. That's, that's because it's... Uh, it's lurking. It's not hunting, but it's lurking. Well, I think we figured out what cleared out the city. Yeah, I had it, um, a suspicion. But the city's not, uh, I mean, the buildings are for the most part intact, so it doesn't seem like the dragon, you know, landed. But there's no bodies. Where did all the bodies go? There's not even ash. Am I correct in that? They fled. From somewhere well, the, far the, away, the you ships, hear a... The ships were burned. From somewhere far away, you hear a screaming roar. And it's somewhere far, but you can see, like, a, out of one of the windows, just like a blast of light from somewhere pretty far away. You think maybe back the way you came from. Do we see any uh, smoke after that? It's hard to tell with the with the stained glass window. You can't see the smoke. It's it's not clear. You can't so tell. I'll go, I'll go can't open see. the doors quietly. Quietly open the door. Yes. Okay. You open the door to see the the dragon banking and flying back way up into the the clouds, and you can see like a thin plume of smoke coming from the harbor. So we uh, took out the boat. Now we're definitely stuck. Well, it did burn the other boats. So it knows somebody's here, obviously, thanks to my wonderful bell ringing. Um, Well, now the mystery is gone, right? I'm still curious about the bodies. I mean, there's not even victim, you know, for those that weren't able to to flee. Yeah, have we seen, aside from a walled-in body, have we seen blood anywhere, scorch marks anywhere, any sign of nothing like that. No. It's like the bot, like everybody was just like spirited away. I mean, there would be something if it w- there was battle here. Yeah. All right. I feel like we should check the, the basement I found in the morning if we survive that. No, oh, that's, that's, what's the dragon doing? <laughs> it's flying dragon. away. It's flying away. It flies up into the up into the clouds, it's gone. Okay, so it's relatively safe, I would think, as long as my dumbass stays off the bells. I mean, it's hard to tell, right? Like, if you're yeah. staying out there, are you all just standing outside now, or what's going oh, on? Oh, I'm still inside. We're by the door. I mean, if you're okay, inside, then you have no idea what's going on out there. I'm standing by the door, uh, the open crack, or whatever, how yeah. far open it is. Yeah. I mean, it looks like the dragon is circling the town like the whole town, like up in the clouds. But it's not coming down again right now, at least. Uh, I guess I'll go to the door and look out since it's so, since it's quiet. Okay. See the smoke. Did we notice any other or hear any other movement in the town after that? No adventure. No. When you were up there, did you uh, notice any other exits to the cemetery? 
That's a good question, did I? <laughs> you were up there Find for about us, three or... seconds, noticed a dragon, and slid back down. So I didn't get a chance to take a look at the wall? Oh, you saw the walls, but I mean, you were a little distracted. Um, you don't remember. Okay. You no, didn't, didn't have enough time to actually pay attention. You were just thinking, oh shit, it's a dragon. Well, I, we could uh, leave the body here for now and um, make our way carefully uh, undercover down the streets towards the, the wall, which I'm assuming we're closer to than we were before, just to maybe see if there's any uh, exit from the city back that, that direction. Well, this dragon is going to be a constant problem if he hangs around. Well, he didn't show up till uh, the bells rang, and we weren't, I mean, we were we were careful coming in, but I don't think we were completely silent. I mean, Fury and I were running across the roofs, and he didn't, the dragon didn't come down. Yeah. No, only the sound, uh, the ringing sound. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll go myself and nobody else wants to go, just to see what our... Where? Where would you go to? Towards the wall behind behind the church, since we're closer to it than we were before. See yeah, if sure, any... I'll go. Go with you. Anyone I'll, else? Uh, look. I don't see why we all came. Sure. Safety in numbers. All right, so I guess we uh, will close the church door and on our way out, and uh, you know, head back towards the wall. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just reading something. Okay. So I'm sorry. What did you want to do? Go to uh, the wall. We're gonna close the door of the church, and then we're gonna head behind it towards the wall. Okay. And see what we can, uh, you know, see if we can find any exits in the wall, churches or doors. Oh sure. Uh, the walls at the highest part is about 12 feet high. So, I mean, parts of it are crumbling and you could probably just climb over it. Other parts there are like merchant gates that you could just travel through. Um, hold on. I'll give you a basic idea of what you're looking at for the town. Uh, do, do, do. Where is the capture? It is. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there's a row if they're merchant. Uh, so basically, it doesn't really show the the graves. Um, however, um, you're looking at one major gate going out here, as you can see, or here. Sorry, <laughs> can you see? That's where we came in. That's where you the docks. You came in over here at the docks. Those are the docks. Okay, I got you. Right, and then you traveled up here, here to the main area. The church is sort of over in this area. Okay, so um, I guess we hit the wall back behind the church there to the, the northeast. And can kind of see, looks like a big gate, merchant gate yeah. or whatever. To the What's that? Is that like a mansion or something? Castle? That could be. Let's, I, I would say let's uh, we follow the wall that direction. Yeah. So, so yeah, you um, you head that way. And yes, there's a, another gate heading over this way. And there is a, a keep. Um, it looks like whatever battle that happened here. It happened mostly here. Um, it's almost completely crumbled. So, I mean, there's ruins. You could pick around in the ruins of this keep. Um, any, but it would take a bodies? lot of work to rebuild it if you wanted to. <laughs> Do we see any bodies? Nope, no bodies. It's very perplexing. Any, any loot? Uh, yeah, you know, are there, there the detrius of a battle, you know? Weapons. No, just the ruined building. Like someone just took like um, the remains of a battle, just the building part, and just put it here or something. And another thing that you're starting to notice as you're traveling through the town is that <clears throat> the town itself doesn't have a uniform design. There are, I mean, you're all from different parts of Faerun, 
and you're seeing little parts of you know familiarity here and there like oh you know that type of house you know is over in Om or you know over here I only see you know little huts like that in Icewind Dale and things like that you know I mean it almost looks like this is sort of like a a mosaic of a town but the, but it's all the same level of destruction There's it no is difference other than the church and that uh, that fountain area here and there I mean it's all been thoroughly looted yes yeah. so where was the the fountain uh, pavilion the fountain area? pavilion is over here I have to wait because it's delayed where? <laughs> oh, over there. Okay. Um, well, I, I would think we've got enough sense of direction to know that uh, that's the direction the fountain was. Mm -hmm. um, I would say we kind of stick in the house, you know, side street. And so the dog kind of went right out this gate, went doot, 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 doot down this road. Okay. Unless we spot something uh, in this, this battle area, um, I mean, I guess I would make a quick scout around. Um, I would say we had, depending on the time of day. Uh, it's getting dark. It's starting dark. to get dark. I mean, it's the evening anyway. Like maybe, right. relatively speaking, like five o'clock at night, maybe around there to give you an idea. Gotcha. How how long of a walk back to well, the church is it? Where us? are we in the world? Be because if it's north of the globe, it would be light. But if it's south, it probably won't. It's it feels like it's dinner time, and it feels like um, it's 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 yeah. getting dim. It's getting dim. Okay. Like the sun will probably be down within two three hours, maybe. Okay. Well, I'd, I'd say we go with Wally's idea. Look for uh, you know. Just make a run through these houses on the way back to the church and if there's any other taverns or storehouses. Well, I'm sure we have, you know. I'm like, we've already experienced a lot, even though we should, might not seem like it. So maybe we should do what Hildegard suggested, like set up a camp and uh, get some rest and then, um, like, I'm sleeping uh, in the recover, church. recover for everything, and then in the morning, you may have some ideas as to what we should do next. I still yeah. want to see the, the pavilion fountain air. If somebody is brave enough or whatever, want to go and see what the the basement was. You still, we can about. still see your uh, screen. Oh, that's probably not good. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. We no, can we still see it. Okay. Pressure. <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start uh, since the, the 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 light's going down, and I don't want to be running around with a torch for oh. Mick Dragon to see me. I'm gonna uh, uh, suggest yeah, we... Uh, we make our way back to the church, looking for yeah. supplies quickly, and is, is what you know on the way back. Well, that being said, if we get a fire going, the dragon's probably going to pick up on smoke. I mean, build a fire in the church. Well, the the, the dragon already burnt the uh, stuff, so it might just yeah. think it's it who did it. All right. Yeah, but if we if we if we set a fire anywhere, it, the, there was you know that we're still there. It might it might think it killed us at the boat. Maybe I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm headed back to the church. Me too. Okay, so you're all heading back to the church. Um, I might break away and go get the fish. Okay. They might already be cooked too. <laughs> I'll come with you. Good. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay, so um, you two start making a. Uh, I should say you two. Archibald, Fury, you both are sort of making a home in the church here? Yeah, we're going to check on well, the way yeah, back for like, supplies or if there's anything. Yeah. Okay. Are there, there, are there uh, benches in the church? Or yes. Are they, like, there's pews, benches? right? There's pews. There's wood pews? 
Yes, wood pews with little cushions on the very front two pews. Gotcha. Uh, I don't want to desecrate it too much. I would say we just grab wood from uh, surrounding houses, you know, chairs, tables, you know, broken bits of... Oh, there has to be like, uh, oh, what do you call it? The the thing you uh, baptize children in? Crates? Like a, like a like crib? A crib? With the water, with the water. No, you, you baptize. Oh, oh, a baptismal? A what? what a baptismal. A yeah, what, we can make a fire and that maybe, and not make a... Uh, a lot of uh... there isn't a baptismal here. However, oh. um, just inside the doors, there is a basin filled with water. But I mean, mm. it's not that much. It's like a sink's worth of of water, not a bathtub. No, is, is I, I was the... thinking about putting, uh, making a fire in that, so we, uh, so the fire wouldn't get out of control. But is, so we is had the a the floor wood area. or stone of the church. Is what stone? I'm, I'm sorry. The, the floor is the floor stone. Oh, floor is wood. Of course it is. So that's why we need something to make the fire in. Gotcha. Um. Hmm. But you know, seeing as you could uh, climb up the bell tower and look out, there has to be like an uh, like an air 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 vent. Out that way with the bell, so it's. Oh, in that in the little uh, the little room off on the side. Is there any kind of a fireplace or you know anything like that that the the priest or the would, would use to keep warm? Nope. I guess this is a wear a coat type of community. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I've never seen the church with a fireplace, so. <laughs> In general, so <laughs> I don't think it's a thing. <laughs> oh, is the uh, the the base of the statue? Yes. Is it is the statue? Is it like a stone statue? It or, is. And the base is stone. Yes. Is it big enough we could put a fire like in between? Maybe, but I mean, you. There's a reason, some some sort of reason you just don't feel comfortable oh, you're, even you're going. Oh, you falling out. Can't hear anything you're, you're saying. Falling out, yeah. You're yeah, falling you're out. Up a bit. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? You oh, sound, no, sound like, like a robot. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. You sound like you're reverbing. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Can you still hear me or is it still doing it? No, it sounds cool. like an, a 90s yeah. tune. Oh, it just sounds like auto tune. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you're auto tune. Hmm. Let me turn it off and turn it back on again. Let's see if it works. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, is that working? No. Yeah, you're still auto tuned. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Everybody else sounds fine. Testing, yeah. testing. How's that? That sounds better. Does it? better, yeah. You, you still got a bit of a twinge to it, but I don't understand you. At least I can. Strange. I mean, I haven't done anything different. It's weird. Yeah, it's uh, stressing the server. Could be. Could be. Who knows, right? Um, is it really annoying? Oh, it looks better. It could just sound kind of like robot-y, but it's okay. As long as we can hear the words. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um... So anyway, you feel really intimidated by this statue. So you're gotcha. not even sure you want to go near it, let alone make a fire on it. But you just, well, you have this right, feeling well. in the pit of your stomach that something bad would happen if you did something to desecrate or piss off this statue. I guess we're sleeping in the dark then. No, we can you put it in the... Can we check the water to see if it's safe to drink? In the basin, sure. Yeah. Okay, so you try some of it. It's because I nice. have a water skin, so I guess I could fill them up if it's okay to drink. Yeah, you fill it up. It tastes perfectly fine. I think we don't get it. We don't get the same feeling from that little water altar or whatever it is than that we do from the statue. No. No, well, we can make a small 
I guess we could make a small cooking fire in there, but that's about it. I would yeah, think. let's. Uh, okay, so if anybody who has water skins, fill them up so we can use water at least and have some water. The um, only concern with making a fire is if it ends up smoky or the smoke will go. What? Well, there's the, the, the bell tower, there's windows up there. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, he, he directly outside. And it's going to be a small there. fire. I mean, I'm fine with sleeping at this point. Yeah, it's, yeah, I didn't have the greatest sleep last night, so. So the because the, be the light might filter up. out, so it might. Uh, well, according to my memory, I was, safe. I was by a fire and then I was here, so I don't even know if, I, and when I last slept. So, um, just... let me just fast forward a little bit here. So, well, uh, Fury Archibald, you. Make yourselves comfortable. Yeah. Uh, Sorry? Well, I, I don't need that much sleep at all, do I? Yeah, your voice is breaking up again. I don't need that much sleep, do I? How's that? There we go. That's better. Mm -hmm. Is it? Good. Okay. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good, yeah. All right, so let me just fast forward a little bit here. So Archibald and Fury, um, you get yourselves together here. Uh, you pick up some bits of scrap cloth and tablecloths and stuff like that from the surrounding houses, and you make some nests. Sound good? Sure. Okay. And Wally and uh, Hildegard, you come back with the fish after a while. And you notice that down by the docks, yes, your boat was completely burnt. It's sunk, it's completely toasted. And everything is a smoldering mess. The docks are glowing red right now, and parts of it are on fire. Goodbye, sweet boat. We hardly knew thee. <laughs> See, the fuck you, good? boat. Why did you bring me here? <laughs> is the fish nicely cooked? <laughs> oh, it's completely gone. Oh. Nicely cooked. Oh, yeah. Real nicely cooked. Nicely cooked. It's crisp. still there, though, right? It's not... The fish haven't disappeared. They just have charred um, remains. I, like I mean, bad. you would think that there are charred remains there, but, I mean, after a dragon breath, especially one that size, you yeah, would imagine that some of the edible. ashes there are probably fish? <laughs> Try the ashes. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think we're gonna have a hungry night, but uh, I've done. I've gone through worse. One night ain't gonna. Ooh. So you head I, back. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I would assume before I was running from air, I had food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you head back to the church, and uh, you find them holed up in there, and you try and make the best of the night. Um, it's got to be early, early morning. Um, are you guys taking watches or anything? Wally, I'll set up for a bit. Yeah, we'll we'll switch out every couple hours. Yeah. Well, again, I'm a half elf. That much sleep. It's true. So, yeah. I mean, you so you I need don't... more sleep than elves do, but of less course than I humans. do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Wally's up first. And um, you're just about to go and wake up someone when somebody knocks on the door to the church. I mean, you think it's a someone, but there's a knock on the door to the church. Yeah, we didn't even knock when we came to the church. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. I just got to go pee. Mm, suspense. I am, I am personally passed out. I'll be right back, too. Well, I'm I am uh, pretty alert, so I would uh, if there was a knock, I would wake up. I'm dreaming of large bearded women. I will go get some water. I'm personally pretty passed out for the night, so if Wally tries to wake me up, it might be hard to rouse. <laughs> Pour some of that baptismal water on you. No fire, no food, just 
cold and tired. Did she say what the temperature was? Like, was it moderate? It might not be that cold. I mean, we got bedroll. With all the fire everywhere, maybe not too cold. Yeah, right. Dream, my little dwarven dream. Do you dream of ill-gotten goods? No, I dream of bearded women. Bearded dwarves. Dwarven women. And How ale. lovely are the beards? Oh, they're luxurious. Luxurious beards. Is Chris still away? Sorry. Wally <laughs> still away? I think he did step away, yes. Okay. Wait till he's back because this will be important. Um, I assume he wakes you know, all of you up. So. I mean, even if he doesn't, it's a knock on the door. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you're all safely on edge enough to be able to not sleep through that. I'm personally pretty exhausted, but maybe if someone uh, shakes me awake, I'll wake back. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we know it's not the dragon. Dragons don't knock. Well, you never know. I mean, it's a pretty weird place from what you've seen. Be a very polite dragon. Change <laughs> during goes down to human form. Or He's had a change of heart since the uh, the bell ringing earlier. <laughs> Flowers. <laughs> Sorry, I burned your boat. Welcome back, Wally. All right. And for so you back as well. Knock on the door. I think Empress went to go get herself a glass of water. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to uh, put my hand over Hildegard's mouth, but wake her up. And just kind of put my, like... So when she opens her eyes, I'll be like... Shh. Okay. So what you can okay. see... I mean, it's pitch black out still. It's the middle of the night. However, all of the the um, stained glass windows that face towards the very front of the church are all like bright like glowing like there's lights on the other side up front can we see anything uh, I would assume I woke up you know, third level mm -hmm. um, you woke up can I peep out the uh, what are there, are there like windows around the door down to like floor level or are they up above it that we can see the light in they're up above, like the other ones. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You go up. I mean, even just grabbing onto the ledge and pulling yourself up. Okay. The can lights are close else? enough to tell that you can see several different points of light out there. And they're flickering hmm. like fire, like torches or something. I can't see uh, whatever's holding the torch. No, just the glow from the torch. Any more knocks? No, nope. just the one. Once Hildegard wakes up and acknowledges me, I'm gonna kind of do that. Mm hmm. And I'm gonna go answer the door. Okay, so nobody answered the door yet. Great. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so Wally's answering the door. Archibald, yep. you're still by the window? Yeah, well, once he goes to open the door, I'll back up and have my boat ready, just uh, just in case. Yeah, and I'm, uh, I didn't know if you heard it, but uh, because of my alertness, I woke up when I heard the knocking, so I... Uh, That's true, I'm also probably getting, I'm also getting up, but I'm standing in the same spot as I was, but I'm uh, vigilant. Do you have any weapons, though? Um, well, since I'm a bit away from the door, I guess I will have my... Uh, yeah, well, longbow, I guess. Okay. And I have, uh... I have, uh... uh, uh made it ready. <laughs> sure. So you have the bow drawn? 
waiting? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Wally, when you go to the door, are you holding any weapons? Yeah, I'll have a shield on, and I'll have uh, I'll put my helmet on, mm-hmm. and I'll I'll have my mace in the other hand. Okay. You Since open I've the been door. Since I've woken up, I've put my uh, armor back on, and I'll stand next to Wally with my tower shield up. Okay. Just in case anything tries to come. Are you like behind him? Or are you like crowding the door with him? Uh, I'll be beside slash behind, like a diagonal away. From- okay. Sort of like ready, but kind of behind. Okay. Before I open the door, yep. I am, uh, I'm, I'm d- casting detect evil. Hmm. Okay. So whoever's knocking on the door, it's a one foot path in front of me, right? Yep. <clears throat> so, sorry, <laughs> I'm eating this granola bar. It's okay. It's kind of distracting, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm almost starving now. This is horrible. What a man. <laughs> okay. So Wally picks up his pendant, says a prayer to Timora, and then kind of holds out his hands, and the, all of the ground below him glows a bright white. And in almost a perfect circle all the way around him and going outside of the doors from where he's standing. When you open the door, Wally, you see a um, tall, slender person wearing black armor with red accents on it. It's an elf, and you can tell that because he's holding a plate mail helm under his arm sword is in its uh, scabbard. You can see behind him are several knights. Maybe 12 to 15? It's kind of hard to tell. They're all holding torches, all with full plate mail on. Very same um, colors. The black armor with the red accents. And you can see they're all like, like full plate. Not just regular plate mail, like full plate and uh, decked out for battle. Nobody has weapons drawn right now though. And this elf that's standing in front of you, he's just, he's staring up at you. You can tell though, that he's standing just on the other side of that protection circle though. That circle of protection you just cast. It was a detect evil. Oh, is it detect evil? Yeah. Oh, yes, you detect evil. (laughs) <laughs> Would you like to cast oh. your circle of protection? No. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't cast the circle of protection. I was casting detect evil. You detect evil. All I just outside. ask you if you want to see if you can't. If you want to throw it up now. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's kind of sounds like a good idea. <laughs> elves, why did it have to be elves? Hey! <laughs> Anyhow, so he's standing there. Um, he doesn't doesn't look like it would have mattered. He's not trying to, like, come in or anything. Mm-hmm. As soon as he stands there, he kind of, like, looks you up and down. Doesn't really show a lot of, you know, emotion in his face. It's pretty hard to tell, though, because all of the light is from behind him. He's not holding a torch himself. And, uh, he just looks at you and he says, do you speak for your group? And he says in perfect common. I can, but they can all hear you. Okay. He just kind of like leans over like he's trying to look inside, but doesn't try and like crowd you or anything. He's like kind of looking, but it is pretty dark behind you. I mean, you don't have a fire going in there, thankfully, I guess. And uh, he just says, My name is Tessarian Carlin. I am the Hand of Lux. You have been spotted. And you are now subjects of Lux. The great Lux demands 1,000 gold piece tithe each week per person. Nope. What do you say? Or we could kill you just now. Okay, you just kind of like 
looks back, and you see that for the first time he smiles a little. He says, you could certainly try. I'm sorry, uh, Tysarian? Was it? Tysarian, yes. Um, you'll have to forgive us. Um, we are new to these lands and new to this town. What are you talking about? A, a tithe? <clears throat> There's no population here. This ghost you see. It's only inhabited it being so a red places. dragon. This town just appeared three days ago. You are the first people who we've spotted here. And any who are in this land, this new land that we have all found ourselves in, are servants of Lux. And who is Lux? Everything. Everything he sees is his, and you're in his land now. Sounds like a spoiled brat. Okay, that's... There's one thing we did find in the walls, and it seems to chime in at the most awkward and inconvenient times. Um... We don't have the means to pay that. You have seven days to pay. Seven days is... Most of us have never seen a thousand gold. Well, I suggest you start looking. Because in the end, it will not be me who you have to worry about. It will be Lux, and Lux knows you are here now. Um... You've been gone within seven days. If you think Lux that you can dragon. outrun Lux, then certainly you are most willing to try. What kingdom are we in? He shakes his head and she says, We are in the kingdom of the lost, as far as we can tell. And what kingdom or what is the area cult that Lux rules over? Is it the entire realm? This is Lux's realm. The entire realm is Lux's. I have a bad feeling about this guy. I don't trust him. Uh, can I have a minute to confer with my... He shakes his head. He says, have all the time you'd like. We will return in seven days. And he turns and he starts walking down the stairs. It's not all the time we want if they're coming back in seven days. No, I'll shut the door. And uh, I'll say, if we ring the bells, like as the door shuts, the dragon may come and kill everything that stands. <laughs> the only concern with that is more people will come. I noticed Which he didn't try to yet? step inside the church. The new detect the evil. I wonder if he can even come in. Maybe he's scared of the statue. Yeah. No, no, because he, sa he said that the, the this town only appeared three days ago, like, out of yeah. nowhere, so they don't know this place. He said this is the realm of the lost, and he didn't seem too phased that this town just appeared out of nowhere. And it sounds like he's not from here either, from a couple of his comments. Yeah, also because he said, uh, like, as they were aware of, so they don't even know the there's just some spoiled king or lord or something. Some well, place who thinks they can tell people what to do. I don't. I'm not. I'm going to make a guess and say Lux is, Lux is the dragon. Well, that, that, uh, that could be true. Or maybe it's one of Lux's pets. Who knows? The... Yeah, because the dragon, uh, they need uh, they need a master. Right? But they, well, can't be, they can't be tamed. My knowledge of dragons is minimal. But either way... If we want to stay, we have to pay a thousand gold apiece. So four no, thousand don't. gold. Oh, they that's want us to pay. They want us to pay, but we don't have to. And where did they come from? That's my question. Hello, hey, God. What are you thinking? You haven't said anything. I'm lost in thought. I don't have many thoughts. <laughs> oh, you're usually so the one who's. Uh, you just aren't smash. You? That's your thought, right? <laughs> Hello, God. Smash. If we run. They're going to find us. We do not know the terrain. We do not, don't even know where we are. They've been here longer than us. This well, they don't know be... the city. They don't know the city because it's new. So we should actually go check out that basement. 
Well, I, and I totally agree with you. We should go check out that basement at some point. But I'd like to know more of our city, considering we're the only ones in here. At least and, we have seven days before we see the thing again. But I'm not paying. Yeah, I'm, I don't even have the money, let alone if I did. I would not be paying until I know more. I have a really bad on. feeling about them. Okay, we, we've established we don't have the money. We've established it's a lot of money. Well, let's wait now, till dawn and uh, then we check out the city. If we days, we've got seven days. A lot can happen in seven days. Yeah. A lot can happen in seven days. I was in another place, a totally different place a day ago, and now I'm here. Who knows, maybe the gods want us to be, be someplace else tomorrow. I think if the dragon could have burned this church, he would have burned this church, because he heard the sound from there. and said he mm. burned the boat. Yeah, so, so we can't go that way. Well, I, whatever happens, even if we don't pay the gold, I don't think I think we'll be safe in this church from that dragon, and maybe even from those elves. They didn't seem uh, too interested in coming inside to talk. No. But then I don't know how many we are. They don't know if we're the only ones who are here. Well, I say we well, wait till morning and then check out the, or wait till light and uh, check out the town. Seeing as it's the... dark outside, you might be able to have a better time with your infravision. Now might be a good time for you to look around the town <laughs> if you're good feeling point. up to. Go up to the to the roofs again. <laughs> what do your elven eyes see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, we could do the roofs. Those uh, those silly little elves in their plate mail aren't being doing too much climbing. You might get a bead on where they're heading as well. You also That's might get idea. Idea. fires. Well, yeah. if there are a lot of people, they couldn't have gone far unless they're really running. So. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I'm... We can check where they're actually going if we go out now, and yeah, I can go up, to, go, go up to the roof, and I can can uh, search for them and see which direction they're coming from. I'll join you. Let's go do that. Good. All right. So you're both going up onto the roof. Um, with, the how are you going to yeah. climb up there? Um, are you going back up the rope or are you going to go up? <laughs> no, no, no. Not inside no. the church. No, outside. Oh. No, outside the church. Oh, okay. Outside. So like the roof, the like we did the, yeah, like we did in the beginning. Sure. Give me your climb sheer surface, both of you. Good? Yep, that's good. Anything yep. under 75. You're fine. Uh, good. You both rolled fine. And you both crawl up the, uh, the corner of the church and climb up on top. And you see, it's very easy to see them. I mean, there's, from what you can count, there is 14 of them. And they're all riding horses. And they're all in a line, and it looks like they're kind of snaking their way through the town. Hmm. Maybe searching? Who knows? Are they on the main roads headed towards, like, uh, where the dog went? Or towards the docks? Uh, no, they're not close to the docks. They're just kind of snaking their way all the way through the town. I don't know. Maybe they're searching or patrolling, or who knows? Can we uh, see any fires uh, outside the wall? No. No. Well, I would say uh, I'm going to uh, go after them. I'm sneaky. I'm a thief. Try and stay on the roofs as I can and uh, keep a healthy distance. Yeah, what, I guess we both would do that because I'm also a sneaky yeah. thief. What's your hide and shadows, each of you? Uh, 10% uh, with me. That seems enough, doesn't it? I have sneak attack plus 4. Yeah, I've got 10% as well. Oops, but I think my, we, my move I think silently we, is uh, 0%. Oh, 0. Good. I think we stay good? far enough back. I mean, you know, stay enough far enough back and sure. on the rooftops whenever possible. I will tell um, you what, since it's dark and you're staying back far enough, I will give you plus 60% if you want to try it. But if you fail, they will notice you. Well, they already know we're in the town, yeah. so I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Ooh. Well, you definitely got that then. Yeah. Well, I'll try. 
God damn it. No. <laughs> oh, shit. No. 98%. I'll walk slowly away from her. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak slowly away from her. <laughs> Nice. Okay. So, Fury, you're kind of walking along. It's pretty dark, but I mean, infravision's only good for living things, right? So you didn't notice when you, like, kicked a child's toy that was broken and laying in the uh, middle of the street. And all the bells in it started skittering across all the stones. I mean, it was a really bad roll. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, well... So anyway, um, Archibald kind of like, ooh, shit, and just kind of like ducks off to the side. And, <laughs> and uh, Fury, you, you start backing away, but the uh, the horses turn, they just like swing their torches around to face you, and you're illuminated for a moment. And one of them calls out in Elvin, actually, and uh, says, did you want something? I don't say a thing. I'm, of course, I can't understand Elvish. What do you but... say, Fury? I say, did I want something? Apparently, you wanted something, so I wanted to see you wanted something. Oh, have you come to pay your tithe? Certainly. Come no. forward. <laughs> no, but uh, I feel to be fair, I need to know who you people are before I... Uh do any contribution of any sort the um as you're as you're talking a lot of the mm-hmm. horses have stopped and they've they've grabbed the reins and pulled their horses around to face you and the mm-hmm. the lead horse is slowly trotting back towards the the rear line and uh coming up you're just gonna stand there and wait for him to approach yeah i'm not scared all right so he kind of, all the other knights, they kind of make way for this guy that you just met, right? He comes walking up, takes off his helmet, and uh, by the way, none of them have looked in your direction at all, Archie. What, what are you doing while this is happening? Apparently I they don't know you're there from what... He I, is I, waiting for I a moment. I am cowering in a pool of my cowardice. No, I'm... <laughs> uh, I'm just watching. Um... Probably uh, moving to, to get a better vantage point. Did you want to crawl uh, up I, something? Did you want to climb? Yeah, am I in an alley? Can I climb up on the roof of whatever I'm next to? If you make your roll, you can do it. Yeah. Yep. You do. Okay, so, so you crawl up, up on top of a, a low-rise wall, and uh, you're kind of crouched on top of a... Looks like a tool shed or like a smithy shed or something. Okay. You're not really sure. Okay. I'll have my bow in hand, but not drawn. Just, yeah, I have, just I have questions for for them or for the person who wants to talk to me. Okay, so he comes walk, he comes marching up, not right up to your face or anything, but a little closer than the the rear guy that was talking to you. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, you have to look up to see him because he's sitting on the back of his horse now, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, he just looks down and he says. I am sorry, was, was I not clear with my directions? Well, I have a question, if you don't mind. Then speak. You said that, uh, you, or you people said that this city hasn't been here uh, before three days ago. What was here three days ago, and why do you not seem surprised that there is all of a sudden a town or a port here? I'm we just try curious. not to ask these questions. We Why? were put here for a purpose, and Lux watches over us now. This is our life, and you should accept it as well. Before if it's your life, was... why should I accept it? Because Lux says so, of course. If it is your life, why should I accept it? It is not my life. I have a different... You are welcome to make the choices you make in your life little elf. Okay. However, if you choose incorrectly, I guarantee you that the wrath that will be coming your way will be swift and merciless. I will decide if I choose correctly or not, if not myself, when it is my life. 
as you I wish. am I not the master of my own life, my own choices? Certainly you are, certainly you are. However, mm. you have seven days to make the choice. You can choose to live or to die. That choice is yours, as you say. Well, that is your perspective. perspective if you have so. nothing else, then we have business to take care of. Well, okay then. Alright, so he turns around, kind of like does one of these in the in the air, and they he puts his helmet back on, and they start marching down the uh, street again. So, Archibald, Fury, uh -huh. doing anything else? Yeah, is there, um, am I close to, like, a higher vantage point I can get up to? Or is it just kind of like a tool shed out in the middle of a yard? Um, you could probably make a leap and jump on top of a, of a house, but I mean, once you're up there, there's, the distance to the next house is too far. But, okay. I mean, it depends on why you need to go up higher. I mean, who knows what the roof is made out of? If it's, True. like, rotted... I don't know, pitch or whatever. <laughs> You're probably um, just gonna go right through. It's these are okay. like not big merchant houses. These are just yeah. commoner houses. Commoner houses. All right. Well, I'll climb down and uh, wait for them to get a good distance away, and then keep following. Okay. What about you, Fury? Well, I feel like I made a distraction so he could go after them. I'll just stand where I am right now because they can ob obviously see where I am. So right now I'll just be standing there and I know where Archibald is, so I will watch him. Uh, get and I'm not going to be directly behind them. I'll be, if I can, you know, in the alleys or street over, kind of following their torchlight uh, versus, you know, directly behind them. Right. In the distance. Okay, so you follow them. Or how long would you like to follow them? Uh, just to see where they're going, you know, see if they can exit. Okay. Uh, so, what exit they go out. Anyway, Fury, you lose them because you're you're standing there. Mm -hmm. um, but Archibald, but know you follow them for hours as they slowly make their way through the city. They don't look like they're searching really hard, but, you know, they're kind of like poking their torches in doorways and stuff and just looking around and eventually they make their way to the the exit the same exit that the dog went by the way and they just start traveling out past all of the graves towards the farmlands do they uh i'm assuming they eventually go into the forest yes yeah. you, if you wait there long enough yeah you do see them disappear okay. into the forest yeah okay well i'll head back and let everybody know uh what they were doing and where they went so we have an idea of at least that there's at least one group out in the forest okay it's like just pre-dawn now by the time you come back into the the church of course everyone's like immediately awake as soon as you open the door and come in um looks like they were uh searching for other people inhabitants um they weren't too concerned about it um, there was no obvious threat in what they were doing and they uh, just headed out the the main gate and disappeared into the forest <clears throat> yeah they seem brainwashed well they're elves hey you're a half elf so you yeah you, but uh, still you you have some smarts about you <laughs> from what i can tell thank you well, the whole time that they were out, I would have stayed in the uh, safe, strong arms of Hildegard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> have a little cuddle. Aww. Nice. Against my heavy plate armor. <laughs> Are you spooning um, when I get back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the little spoon. You're the little spoon. <laughs> so, uh... So what well, have you guys been doing while we were away? <laughs> what do you guys propose we do to uh, do now? Well, I say we um, just kind of head out from, you know, from the church, use that as the center, and uh, explore the town for options. There's that uh, yeah. creepy tunnel that Fury found, and then there's that uh, really fancy fountain. 
almost seems like it would have the same kind of aura that this church does as it looked uh, untouched. I have to. Uh, and it was I'll, floating. I'll be back in a minute. There's uh, an incident going on upstairs. Sorry. A what going on? Incident. Uh, incident. Yeah. Okay. You can check Discord. I'll be back. Sorry. Sure. Well, the, the fountain seemed to be floating or something, so I'm kind of intrigued about that. There has to be... there's really some magic going around here. Well, if it transported a whole city here, yeah. I don't think these uh, these elves are from here. But they've been here long enough to... Uh, probably establish themselves as uh, higher up the food chain. And there might only be the 15 of them. Or is it 14? Well, I guess that's always a purpose. They could be saying they represent some greater cause to scare us, but either way, until we're more comfortable, survival may be easiest if we oblige. Yep. I, I think we should, uh, if the docks are on fire anymore, catch some more fish kind of stockpile some provisions and water and whatever as much as we can in the church because I'm I'm pretty sure that's that's safe yeah and gather some herbs and stuff yeah try and if, if we do end up having to uh, uh, barricade ourselves we should be able to do that for as long as we can but still they know where we are when we are in the church True, I don't know, but I don't know if they have magic going on, if they know where we are, wherever we are. Uh, they didn't know we were on the roof until I um, made a noise, but they still didn't find Archibald, so... Uh, I guess they don't... They're not all seeing, as far as I can tell. Right. They just want us to, to make us believe that they know everything and see everything. Yeah. But it's and clear it's that they don't. And if they want a thousand gold, yeah, you know, where they who's spending a thousand gold and where? They're lackeys. True. Well, once Hildegard wakes up, we'll uh, say we uh, scour the town, top to bottom. Okay, I will um, give you a brief description then, and uh, she can catch up when she gets back. So, uh, if you're going to the large fountain, um, you find a large fountain filled with beautiful red lilies. The fountain is working, and the water looks to be fresh from what you can see. Um, behind the fountain is a many-pillared hall, and within it's filled with pillows. And near the back is a secluded bathhouse, which appears to be heated by a natural spring. But like the church, it doesn't appear to be touched. Interesting. Very interesting. And the uh, the fountain center head is a looks like a beautiful woman, and the water's coming out of her palms as her hands are upheld. Hmm. Is the, the, the bathhouse in the back, is it, uh, you know, behind a door, or is it just kind of an open air? Just uh, open. I mean, there's there's archways that you have to pass through to get to it, but I mean, it's not yeah. secluded off. Well, I guess I'll check it out. Go in and sniff around and see if I can find any back to if it's like anywhere else here. Yeah, I want to go to the west to the fountain. I saw it first, so definitely going. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Yes, I mean, there's some towels. There's all kinds of nice, comfortable pillows. Um, looks to be a, a place of relaxation and, just, I don't know, decadence, maybe even. Is it? Uh, is the whole thing like open air, like all the way around, or is it a building with a fountain up front? The fountain is outside. Um, the pillared hall is is covered, and then the bathhouse is inside, like kind of like so the, a, the, 
the, the pillared hall doesn't have walls, it's just the pillars. Right. Okay. But inside the building itself, it's like really nice. You know, pillows all yeah. around the sides, little alcoves that you could put your personal belongings in. There's a couple of towels on racks, but not many. Well, while Fury checks that out, I'm going to uh, take a look around uh, the rest of the town, see if I can find anything supply-wise. Okay. Like I said, the whole place, from what you can tell, is ransacked. You could spend hours going through this stuff. But there are still, okay. you said there were towels and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just a couple towels. Sure. Yeah. I mean, if you consider that, like, worthwhile supplies, sure. <laughs> it is. You can always use uh, cloth t- to make something. Don't forget your towel. I was going to say, Hitchhiker's Guide fan? I don't know. <laughs> Always got to have your towel in case the Vogon show up. I know. The Destroyer um, Fleet, exactly. All right, well, if the city's pretty much useless, um, I think we should uh, delegate someone or someones to find food. I'm certainly willing to go closer to, if not into, the forest to look for game. Yeah, I can go look for punk guys that are edible. I think we need to get the basics out of the way before we spend too much time in the mountain or the, uh, the creepy tunnel. What do you think, Wally? Yeah, I agree. You want to catch us some fish? We'll go see if we can find some, some flesh that's on four legs. Well, I can. I'll come with you, Wally. I can make a fire by the docks. There's definitely some wood I could use there to make a fire with. I'm sure. Could uh, bring some nice cooked food back for. That works too. Okay. Are you gonna uh, head into the forest with me, Fury? Or are you gonna go uh, your own direction? Yeah, I will go to the forest. I'm also a wood, so I can do magic with woods. Okay. Great. Okay, so, um, Wally, Hildegard, you're going down to the docks to make a fire? Is that what is going on? Yeah, I think I can make a fire by the docks, hopefully. I've got, uh, flint and tinder. I'm sure there's a decent amount of wood (laughs) that I can just use my axe, chop up some, some of the other wood at the docks, maybe. Sure you could. Sure you could, yeah. Alright, so, um, Archibald, Fury, you head out past all of the graves um and yeah just like the the houses the graves um let me just explain i'm not sure if i already said this or not however um the graves appear to be written in different languages on the stones and even the the stones themselves are of different styles and materials as if people from all over Faerun came here to be buried almost Anything in common? Oh yeah, there's there's some written in common. Yeah, I mean, not particularly names you recognize or anything, but... Yeah, yeah oh, there are some that look completely local, like you would just go down to their local churchyard and you would see graves just like this. And some others are, like, wooden poles sticking out with strange, like, almost hieroglyphic writing on it that you have never seen before, and... You know, others are, you know, triangular stones, and it's just, it's all kinds, all over the place. And there's a couple of mausoleums, and yeah, it's just, it goes on and on and on. Okay, well, kind of just give it a glance as as I'm going by, and, you know, look more to the, the, does does the graveyard go right up to the forest, or is there like some grassland in between the two? No, it goes graveyard, oops graveyard then it's like farmlands beyond that which also look abandoned by the way with there's farms so these Mm -hmm. farms look all abandoned and then beyond that is the forest it's like this has all been cleared like cleared land all the way around for the farmers or something but it looks like some land that we could go to the forest and back to the city before nightfall yes okay um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm going to be looking for game or just anything else. Mm-hmm. You could go back, um, you go to the forest and back to the town, probably 
just after lunch, probably. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay. Um, as you're walking, you're about halfway, be- halfway between uh, the forest and the graveyard, walking down this nice, like, stoned pathway. Looks like there's uh, cart ruts on it, like a travel road of some sort. And as you're almost at the forest, from somewhere deep in the forest, you can hear a woman screaming. Of course. What do you think, Fury? Well, a scream can mean anything. Let wait a few seconds, see if you scream again, see if we can interpret it. Okay. As you're waiting, uh, you start to hear the sounds of horse hooves approaching from inside the forest coming towards you it sounds like they're getting louder we hide no i hide at least up in a tree up in a tree you're not at the forest yet like i said you're halfway between the forest and the graveyard you're in farmland right now any kind of cover nearby ditches high grass yep there's high grasses you can see there's some neglected fields filled with um uh, wheat i mean you could run into the fields and hide it's not direction the the horses yeah. seem to come from and uh, make sure we lie down in a place where they won't see us in the... sure. yeah. yeah okay it's easy to, to hide, hide actually because of all yeah, of the, the because... wheat and everything no problem you go and you hide and um, suddenly you see this horse break through the edge of the forest just the horse there's no rider and uh, it's galloping out it looks crazed wild eyed and uh, it's just kind of like it gallops out into the into the opening and just kind of like it leaps one way and another like it's you know wild-eyed trying to run from something in the forest and it's running down the road now it looks like it's just going to run right past you guys no. trip it <laughs> is it your leg or what yeah my tiny little dwarf leg yeah. snap that in half oh no, I guess we'll just have to let him go. Yeah. Do we do we see anything of note on the horse? Like what kind of well, I mean, saddles, since you're, blood, or... are you still hiding? Are you both still hiding? Well, when we're hiding, do we have a, a clear view of the road or? Not that clear because of of course, if you're trying to hide, then you're yeah, kind of hidden okay. from them too, right? So it's not um, particularly clear, but you can still see it. Like once it passes you, you'll have a very good look at it. Because it's going to yeah, go right past you on the road, right? Uh, yeah, I'll I'll just stay hidden and, you know, check it out as it runs by and see if anything's following. You too, Fury? Yeah. Okay. Sounds, sounds it good. gallops by wild-eyed. And uh, you can see that it has these, like, huge spikes sticking out of its flank. Like, it's been, like, hit by arrows or... Maybe small spears or something, but there's a couple sticking out of its flank and one sticking out of the back of its chest. However, Fury, this is really strange because as it flies by you, running towards the town, you recognize the horse. And the reason that you recognize it is because the actual saddle... And all of the colors of its of its blankets and everything are exactly the same. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but it's a, it looks exactly the same as the nobles that you were protecting. That I was talking to you about at the very yeah. beginning of yeah. the game. Like, this yeah. looks like one of the nobles' horses. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, it looks like it was attacked by some things or something or and it's just flying by and it's it's effectively gone like you're not going to catch it now (laughs) anything coming out after it you wait for a minute and no all right well i'm gonna well you well i guess you don't know but i uh no enough tell you that my strange uh, observation that I actually saw this right before I was somehow put on the boat that I don't know how I got there. I was... Um, so maybe the nobles you were with were dropped off somewhere else. Or maybe I'm not that far away from where I was and now it seems like I uh, actually 
failed my contract with not protecting them properly. And let's go see. But I'm going to stay off to the side of the road in the tall grass and move, move towards the forest. Okay. So you're heading into the forest then? Yeah, but not down, you know, not walking down the center. Right. Okay. So you get all the way to the side uh, or to the edge of the forest. And when you get there, you can see that the forest is filled with that same icky fog that you first saw when you came to this land. And from somewhere deep inside, you hear the scream again, but it's distorted and far away. But it sounds completely panicked. Like, the woman is, like, very terrified out of her mind. But it's hard to tell, like... She could be 50 feet in or miles. It's hard to tell, like, how far that voice is traveling. And, I mean, this forest is dense. I mean, really dense and creepy and very hard to to see. Denser okay. than my skull. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm going to suggest uh, go back and let uh, Wally and Hildegard know what we've seen. Before venturing too far in, do we happen to notice, or does Fury maybe notice uh, anything, any edible shrooms, or anything like, like right there in the beginning of the forest that we can bring back, or? Well, you can make a an intelligence roll there, um, Fury, since you you do have fungal knowledge, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, sure. Roll a d20 and try and get underneath your intelligence. And you caught it. Very nice. Um, Yeah, I mean, there's some grasses and mosses and stuff that are technically edible Mm -hmm. that you can tell. I mean, you could get nutrients out of it. I mean, it wouldn't be a really delicious meal or anything. No, but still it's... Yeah, you could like make Still, uh, fuel for our bodies. Right, you could boil it up into a tea and stuff and survive with it. I've yes. had orc. This can't be any worse. <laughs> oh, it could kill the horse. Oh no, it's gone. Did it run? Did the, could we tell if the horse ran into the like into the run town? off into the fields? Yeah. I mean, it's it is a little hilly, so you couldn't really tell. It was running towards town anyway. Well, maybe we'll have a nice meal waiting for us in town. I'd say we gather up the, what we can and and head back to the uh, the docks and find Hildegard and, and Wally. All right. Yeah, well, I'll put uh, some of the herbs and stuff we found, put it in towels and put it on the stick so I can carry it. Cool. Sounds good. And you, uh, you make your way back to town, I assume. You, like, jog or something? Yeah. Sure. Back you jog back, back to town. town. You find Wally and uh, Hildegard there. Uh, Wally made himself busy, I would assume, um, catching some fish while they were gone. Yeah, but I'm further down from the wreckage. Yeah, I thought, I thought maybe you would be. It would be silly to try and fish there. Um, you go as far down as you can, um... And, and fish there just off of the dock as deep as you can get anyway um, unfortunately you're not really as um, lucky and you get there's my dice roller there it is three fish it's fairly small too definitely not enough to feed you all for the whole day but enough so you're not going to starve to death but it, I mean, to this took stew. you almost the entire time that they were away to get these three fish. All right, it's looking like uh, fishing may not be. Well, we could probably make up a stew with what we brought back from the forest, soup. Some so, sort. Yeah, and how are people with their uh, bows? Because there were seagulls. Maybe we can uh, hunt some seagulls. So anyway, as you as you're sitting there and and talking about the fish that you caught and they might not be enough uh these two come jogging up and i mean it's just after lunch now you know getting into the early um afternoon so we'll let well you know we'll come in and 
come up to them and tell them what you know we found uh, uh we had a or i asked if the the did the horse come run did a horse come running by here you didn't see a horse <laughs> no we didn't, didn't see, see a horse all right uh, yeah we found a uh or it found us along the road this crazed horse <laughs> like it had been a battle in a battle um, came bolting out of the forest and Fury said it was the same horse that uh, the nobles she was guarding uh, were riding. Uh, we weren't able to stop it. We you should know, go. We should go investigate that. Where there is battle, there is often oils. That is true. Um, to we also heard. Uh, you know. We heard a woman screaming in the forest, and the forest is doesn't look very friendly. Very fog filled very dense um but that may be our only option for uh for food that's a good point we're not catching a lot of fish here um is that something we want to do this afternoon or do we want to uh kind of prep today get torches ready because we're definitely going to need torches in the in the forest uh well if there's a woman screaming i don't think she can wait for torches Okay, I, it was really hard to tell how far. I don't know how long, you know. Let's do it. But uh, I guess it's you know better than sitting around here in this dead city. Every day that goes have, by. Let's have a quick meal and get out there. I guess. Fish soup it is. I guess it's snack instead of meal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've you had a fire going there, so you. You know, give the fish, the fishies, a little quick fry and snack on them as you're walking out of the, the town, and uh, get yourselves all ready, and I equipped, you and you get to the the forest edge. You don't hear the woman cr- uh, screaming anymore, but you know that that's where you heard it, and so together you start making your way into this gloomy, dark forest, and that probably sounds like a good place to leave it for now. Uh, it's three o'clock, so I think we're gonna wrap it up. Um, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> we will. Well, three o'clock for us, and yeah, I know. Uh, we will pick this back up for the campaign continuing next Sunday at noon. Um, just want to say thanks to Fury, Wally, Hildegard, and Archibald uh, for coming out and playing on SVR's very first uh, game day. Um, but we'll, thank you for having us. My pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. And uh, if you guys out there want to actually play, have a look in the uh, panels below. Join up in our Discord and follow us on Twitter. And uh, we'd love to have you out here playing with us. This is completely interactive. You can keep up with us on chat or you can join in. All right. So Very cool. have a nice day, everyone. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching.